Hello and how goes it? I'm Andrew, DM of the Dirty Rollers, and I'm once again joined by these four wonderful folks I'm about to introduce as we run through our fourth episode of Pathfinder 2nd Edition Beginner Box. Hey guys, welcome back. Hey! Hello! Hello. I double check the audio fast to make sure everyone can hear us. I think we're good. <laughs> it's, uh, can you hear us? Good, good. Thank you. Thank you, Lady Mastella. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're back. Oh, we're Lady Mastella. A week uh, hiatus. We will have another one next week. Just get that right out of the way. Um, but we will be back on, you know, we were just talking about the date. Was it the 7th? Yes. Okay. 7th. So, yeah, uh, we'll, have, we'll be off next week and then we'll be back on the 7th. We'll just get that out of the way right now. Um, and I want to do a quick little recap. Uh, after we introduce the players, and then we're going to jump into this and try to make the most of uh, the time that we have. Uh, so, uh, of the four uh, people that are joining me tonight, that are generously giving me a chunk of their Monday night, um, Rev, why don't you introduce yourself and your player? Howdy, y'all. <clears throat> I'm Rev, and tonight I will be playing Carl the Dead. Because I was killed last <laughs> session. <laughs> but he is a half elf, um, imperious blooded sorcerer, um, who was trying to be friends, but clearly my party wants me dead. Um, yeah. At, at least and half the party. At least half the party. <laughs> but as Mima always says, Death is just a chance to rise up again and give it another try. Incidentally, Mima is a necromancer. <laughs> um, and next up, we have uh, Fuska. Introduce yourself and who you're playing. Oh, that's me. Uh, hello, I'm Fuska. Um, I am playing uh, Bozzy Teapaw. Uh, she is a rat folk oracle, and I am desperately looking through my character sheet trying to remember how to play this again, because one week off is apparently my memory span for this kind of stuff, so wish me luck. <laughs> Yep. But uh, otherwise, I stream on my channel. Uh, thank you for the shout out uh, on Fusca here on Twitch as well. And then we've got uh, Nikki Nerds up. Hello. Hi. <laughs> uh, I play Gumshoe in this wonderful game, uh, a Gripply fighter. And uh, I don't know, he apparently likes to get in trouble. <laughs> so uh, I think that's enough of an explanation there uh and hopefully he's about to get out of trouble because he's probably in it as we begin the this game <laughs> um i also stream on twitch so thank you for the shout out lady appreciate that very much uh i guess come check out the content when you get the time if you're interested if not continue watching this wonderful channel which is great and i'm so happy to be here thanks for inviting me <laughs> welcome i'm glad you guys could all make it and uh so very twisted Let's, uh, let's hear about you and your character. Hello, uh, I am playing Takut Saigis, the cat folk interior decorator who has been drugged into this dreary basement by his friend, uh, Gripley. Um, mm -hmm. may have some skill at, you know, stabbing people and, and picking locks and things, but that's really just, you know, incidental to my work as an interior decorator. <laughs> Um, <laughs> no, I am also a streamer, definitely. very twisted on stream. Uh, now everybody else has said thank you to Lady for the shout out. So now I have to say thank you, Lady, for the <laughs> shout out. Um, <laughs> and I didn't miss that one. Uh, <laughs> love you guys. Uh, yeah, this is awesome. Thank you. Oh my God. I just had another revelation. I always read your Twitch URL as Sovereign. It's so very. I'm a dingus. No, you're not. I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. Uh, I, I started off thinking it was Soviet twisted. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that's one of my favorite things of watching uh, twisted streams is seeing the amount of people that are like Sovereign. So very. It's so very <laughs> twisted. Yeah. yeah, it happens quite a bit. Uh, uh, it happens a lot. A buddy of mine um, 
just you know a, a stream friend uh saying so sovereign and um i was like you know that's close um i pronounce it a little different and he's like oh really how do you pronounce it and i said so very uh, yeah so, oh god yeah it happens all the time that's, uh, that's great but all right uh so the last two we introduced there they were they were half of uh team let's kill carl in the party uh and they were being led by someone named dirty uh, i don't know about that uh, that was <laughs> entirely on them i will take no blame in this but uh Cuts was merely following orders also technically yes. true there yep um, it is true. <laughs> there so was... what terrible odds? The other half of the team includes him, and then it's just one other person. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, so yeah, they uh, right now uh, Carl is barely breathing, but he was uh, he was stabilized by um, Bozzy's magic. Um, or was it magic, or was it just your healing kit? Like you said, I, did, week I off. did stabilize him. I'm pretty sure, and then I used the medicine check. Medicine check. Yeah, because yeah. okay. I I did both because I was I was scared I would I don't know maybe the medicine check takes because medicine check the medicine check takes ten minutes I think so or like healing does so I was scared that he would <laughs> die in that time so I stabilized him first and then did the medicine and that he would check. expire. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, um, through through Bozzy's, um, uh medical knowledge. Uh, Carl is still among the living, but only barely. Uh, as uh, this this whole section of floor here, this was all trapped, and uh, Takut was playing with ropes, as a, a cat does, on this uh, big old machine that's, that was down uh, a little bit south of them. Um, you, uh, a few ropes were messed with, the pulleys damaged, uh, some levers were uh, flipped back and forth, and the command was given to do it one last time as uh, two of the parties stepped on the trap floor and uh, Carl unwittingly was the uh, the third one and uh, the closest to this wall here where a, a spear came down each row. Uh, Carl being the only one, or the first one in that row there, um, intercepted the spear with his body. I think secretly he was trying to save the healer. I could be wrong there. I don't know. Uh, Carl works <laughs> mysterious ways. Um, he uh, he ate a crit. That's why he keeps blaming me. Um, I wasn't the one that triggered the trap or activated the trap, but he blames me because I rolled the crit. So for that, I am sorry, Carl. Um, yeah, he he ate way more damage than he had total HP. I total. Got knocked the hell out. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> then he had total HP. He got wrecked. Um, but yeah, they are down here investigating uh, underneath the Otari fishery. They're trying to figure out what ate all the fish. Something was stealing fish uh, from the, the basement of the fishery. And the, uh, the lovely uh, proprietor of the fishery, Tamalee Tandervale, uh, put the call out for adventures. And these four answered. Uh, they got down to the basement and quickly surmised that uh, it wasn't just the rats that they came across as one whole wall uh, or a hole in the wall had been knocked in. Um, not uh, not the size of rats, a little bit bigger. They found chunks of fish. They found a lot of footprints and they uh, they followed those footprints, making their way through the uh, caverns that butted up to the basement. Dave's caverns. Um, they came across the crypt um, they found a bowl full of water that was just sitting there that um, someone decided to drink and had the fury of the gods coursing through their their stomach there. Or one god, rather. <laughs> um, no regrets. No regrets. <laughs> they, some. I mean, maybe a little. <laughs> just, just a little. Uh, they made a pacifist run on some kobolds and actually did all right. It was the very first ones they came across. And uh, th those, those kobolds actually lived. In fact, Carl convinced them that they would be uh, better off outside waiting on the mountain i think you said yeah, yeah. that they could go find oh, um, wait on the mountain i have his name somewhere around here uh karkuth karkuth yes that was your your blue dragon friend mm -hmm. your that you made up that i 100 percent thought you uh knew the pathfinder lore and were using an actual pathfinder dragon 
Trixie, <laughs> Trixie bastard. Um, <clears throat> no, they, he convinced a handful of kobolds to uh, walk out and wait. And they solved a puzzle down here uh, really quickly, I might add. Uh, got some got some items from solving the puzzle, got some gold. And then the, the dreaded trap room. There were a handful of kobolds in here. Uh, one lived, I think. You know, I can't remember. Did you talk that one away, too? No. I talked the trapper away. Yeah. Oh. It was just the one. It was the, the one you guys said was really pretty. He's going to go outside. Uh, I will show you the one that you talked away. As soon as I can find it. And, uh, yeah, slaughter the other ones uh, with <laughs> rocks. Just pummeled them with rocks for the most part. Uh, this was the one you got to walk away. The pretty one. Mm -hmm. Oh, so yeah. Pretty. Yeah, yeah, the trapper. Mm -hmm. uh, went and wandered on uh, down what looked like some stairs in the far corner. And um, I think that about brings us up to where we're at. So, uh, party, do you guys have any questions before we get started? Um, do I, am I supposed to have wounded one? You are. Okay. Are wounded <laughs> one. <laughs> Rough. Uh, We've been down here but, like five minutes on day two, right? Basically. Mm, yeah, yeah, right? Because yeah, we rested in the... Yeah, you solved the puzzle here. Um, oh, no. Oh, you, had, you had rocks dropped on your head down here to cut. <laughs> you solved a puzzle and then you dealt with some kobolds. That was that was your day two so far. <laughs> Carl, are you alive? Everything hurts. Oh. Yeah, that looked like it hurt a lot. Is everyone else okay? Oh yeah, everyone's fine. <laughs> yeah, just you had you. the good fortune of being the only one stabbed to death. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I have a cut on my head. <laughs> well, I guess the, the cut got hurt. So the rock. Yeah. <laughs> you only got hit in one place. I got hit all over. Rocks. Yeah, Does it count as two if it goes all the way through? <laughs> Fair. <laughs> okay. That's how many holes does a straw have? <laughs> <laughs> and does it count if it goes through with the lung? <laughs> does the lung count as two more? <laughs> Wait, is Carl a straw now? <laughs> well, it has three straws. <laughs> <laughs> Or Carl. <laughs> also, Carl, uh, you were granted a, a hero point. So hey, much appreciated. Carl needs it. <laughs> he needs it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. I'm back to max. <laughs> Yay. Okay. <gasps> Carl's max. Oh, yeah, we, we should do a quick check. Um, Gumshoe, how many do you have? I think I've got two, but come back to me in a second okay. while I verify that. Bozzy? Uh, one. And to cut? So one. Okay. And Carl, stop we... asking me if I'm gonna use it. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I wanna try to get you. Come on, give Tech a hero point. <laughs> <laughs> um and then uh, Carl's maxed out and uh Gumshoe is looking at the moment. Two is correct. Two. I have two. Okay. Three, you've got two, got two and one. Or one and one? Crap, I, I screwed that up. Early. One, one, two, three. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Three, four, five, six, no seven, eight, nine, ten, Quattro. Eleven, twelve. All right. So, Carl, you have been stabilized. Uh, I <laughs> assume the spear has been pulled out. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> so she healed me with the spirit. <laughs> hey, I've seen it. I bandaged to heal, like, uh, the spears onto him. <laughs> and then I was like, you're good. Now get up. <laughs> be a porcupine for the rest of this run. I've actually seen this done on purpose as a haha. -ha. So, uh, <laughs> I, I I've seen it done as part of torture. So, mm -hmm. yeah, no, Bozzy does have a terrible bedside manner, but she did take the spears out. Okay. 
Uh, all your bandages are just like a little too tight, so there's just constant unnecessary pressure on all your wounds, but <laughs> you do feel better. <laughs> I think he wants pressure in this scenario, though. <laughs> With these big holes, you want as much pressure as possible. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Carl, you are uh, quite wounded. Um, you're not feeling too good, maybe a little woozy, lightheaded. Um, <laughs> your friends are standing around you. Um, you see a one massive uh, spear lying next to you, and you took a second to look around. You would also see the, the spears at the far end of the room. Uh, well, you'd see one. You'd see one here, and the other one probably is resting somewhere on the stairs. Fair, fair. I, I, Carl reaches his hand up for someone to help him up. I <laughs> help you up. up. Oh, okay. We'll, we'll whole team that. does. Yeah. Whole team. We, all, we all kind of hoist you to your she feet. She probably needs it. <laughs> the whole I feel like they you. lift each of your arms and she just puts a hand on your head just like I'm helping. <laughs> team lift. Yeah. yeah. Look, Carl, I didn't know that that would happen. I will say that it was unexpected. I mean, to cut and I have it honestly really done this before so we're not really great people by the way we're, I, I wouldn't even say we're very good people we're just sort that was of apparent. okay <laughs> people um I'm also just apparent. honestly so very surprised that that <laughs> killed you in one shot I just can't no, believe not, that not helping not helping uh, I, I, you I, I, Look, it. I think it went through all the way through, pierced one of my lungs. It's yeah. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm finding my breathing very, very difficult right now. <laughs> okay, well, let's put Carl at the back of the pack. <laughs> I, Carl got uh, shot when he was at the back of the pack, and someone else was doing some other things. I think we should be in the middle. This is uh, true. I'll take, the one I'll take time. The middle. Carl is supposed to like bring up the the rear, and he's in the right spot. He shot impaled <laughs> three uh, Carl, times. Right? I, it wasn't just one. No, it's just once. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll make it up to you. I'll be I'll be glad to use your share of the earnings to redo your library. <laughs> That's a good deal. He's very good, by the way. My, mm, I will I will think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Does Carl hold grudges? We will see. <laughs> see how the rest of it plays out. <laughs> um, I'm kind of nervous. I'll say that now that we tripped one trap, if there are more traps around, and I'm not, I'm gonna look at the cut and be like, um, maybe just to be safe, so you know, we don't get accidentally speared. A absolutely. Um, I believe we could count the number of traps we've encountered at three. <laughs> yeah, it seems like a common occurrence. <laughs> um, yes, but uh, um, so when I when I pulled the lever, discharging the unfortunate spear, um, I don't know if you if you caught it, but I did say after I hear the the scream and the thunk. Put the lever back the other <laughs> position. Okay. But then came around the corner. Um, okay. So uh, I suppose the first order of business would be to search this uh, room for stuff, secret uh, uh, compartments or um, not. Uh, secret secrets. Yeah. So first, uh, the trap, the the huge floor trap is deactivated. I want to I want to let you guys know about that. <laughs> You, you hear the, the, the thunk again, and it sounds like something is uh, lowered down. So uh, you're pretty confident that you don't have to worry about the traps anymore. I mean, just to, just to be safe, you could avoid that whole section of the floor if you wanted, but pretty good idea. It's the whole floor. It's, a, it's a, the three rows uh, in the middle of the room between all the pillars. Oh, I thought it was the blue area. No, that's detect magic, sorry. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> Carl's uh, constant detect magic he's got going. Um, and then, yeah, you said you're you're looking for uh, traps and things? <laughs> secret, secret, like, doors and, like, a compartment. Okay, so right down here, 
right down here, you see, uh, no, oh, oh no. Uh, I'm gonna put you right there for a second. Okay. Uh, this is a Why? trap. Uh, this is one of the traps that the trapper threw down. <laughs> Oh my God. Ran right over there. I was uh, I'll, I'll stop you from running onto it as a. Uh, it's it's kind of obvious now that you don't have to worry about enemies being around or anything. Um, but yeah, whoops, wrong. There we go. This square here is a uh, a bear trap. That um, was the literal square he stopped on. It was. It was the exact <laughs> one. <laughs> there are many other squares there, but that exact one. Oh, he picked that it's one. The one he clicked on. So I was like, oh, I, he wants me to go there. So I was there. <laughs> nope. Went straight for it. Uh, you can still run there if you want and see, you know, test your reflexes. Um, I think I'll just um, trigger the, the trap and, and take it with me. Okay, so you can make a thievery check to disable it. Um, this one would be... Oop, gotta find it. Let's see. Perhaps disable entry. Mm. It, uh, to be fair, I'm just dropping a rock on it. Oh, okay, you're not trying to... Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah, it's easy that enough. It's snap shut. Yeah, <laughs> save some time. But yeah, you uh, you can set that one off. Uh, does it look like it's something that I could I could reset later and use, or is it spent? No, it looks like you can um, pry it back open and reset it. Okay, I'll put one of those on my character sheet in a minute. Hmm. <clears throat> And this would be, if you go to search for it, it's a quick trap. Mm -hmm. uh, is everyone ready to proceed? I'm going to stop you so you don't do this again. As you get up here and you're looking around, <laughs> there is another spike trap here and another one here. Cool. How much does the first one weigh? Uh, probably a few pounds. Oh god! Everybody just following behind to cut now. <laughs> very, I, I, very slowly. I passed Mousy the first is trap. Very particularly. Oh, sorry. Again. Okay, uh, I, I pass the first trap off to Gumshoe, and then bring the next one and hand that one to him. Okay. Then I bring yep. the third one and I hand him that one as well. Okay. Uh, I, <laughs> They're so heavy. Yeah, they are. I'm not a strong frog. You, you handed it to someone that's like two foot shorter, three foot shorter than you. <laughs> Gumshoe's little arms are just shaking right now with three trapped of his them. body. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty sure he's stronger than I am. I'll, I'll take one of them back. All right. Oh, thank you. Can I Shit. put these on my pack? Yeah, somehow? you can hang them off your, your pack. <laughs> I'm going to try and add this to my character sheet like a real player <laughs> nice <laughs> um it might be under quick trap um yeah if it's not you can just add your own uh thing to it and then I'll let you know uh what it does uh I will tell you guys it takes uh all three actions to set one and throw it down got it and then if we get to it, then um, I will place the traps for you. And, yeah, and at the end of this room up here, uh, you do see a staircase leading down. Users just handing out all of the uh, zero points today. So Gumshoe, you have another one. Oh my God, and I'm full up guys. You gave one to someone else earlier to cut. To cut. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Jay-Z. <laughs> Appreciate that very much, Jay-Z. Oh, Jay-Z was the the name change with the single bit. Oh. He's, he's special like that. Okay, that's very good. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Your name change, I approve of. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> that's great. Uh, 
Uh, Bozzy was saying uh, something. Oh no, I, I, Bozzy is just very carefully uh, following behind Carl uh, in hopes that she can see anything that might come and try and kill him specifically. <laughs> also knowing that she's a bit shorter, so if a spear goes to hit her, there's a good chance it'll fly over her head and hit him anyway, but she's going to stand there and hope that she can at least warn him. <laughs> the thought that counts. And, and Carl's mm. limping along with his quarter staff. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you guys do still have uh, some healing potions too, right? Or did you use one on Carl? Oh. No, none were used on me. Oh, yeah. I, oh, I have an extra one. <laughs> I think it comes, she looks at it in his bag and is thinking, like, watching Carl, like, hobble. It's like, you know, I'll just see how he does. <laughs> Put it back in his bag. Oh, poor Carl. Carl partially trips down the stairs. Oh boy, okay, never mind. <laughs> she comes, she walks up. Okay, you know, I was thinking that maybe if you were feeling a little thirsty, you could try this. And he hands the healing potion <laughs> to Carl. Uh, are you sure? Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. I think that. Before you even finish, he's just doing it down. <laughs> You could, oh, yep, there you go. Whoa. Now on the hatch. It's a 1d8, Carl. 1d8. Any pluses or is it just straight d8? I believe it's just a 1d8. I'll look real fast. Yeah, just 1d8. I'm gonna go look for traps. Oh, are you sure you don't want me to go first? Or? I think I better at out of the way of them except for this bump on my head but I think I think I am <laughs> okay so at the the stairway here the only thing you find is that third spear it's kind of like smashed against the wall down here and it's just lying on the stairs Ooh. I'm not terribly interested in a spear okay I'll pick that up all right <laughs> Uh, you can add a spear to your inventory then, uh, Gumshoe. And if everybody's going uh, down the stairs, Bozzy is upside down. I was going to say, would you mind? Uh, my cat stepped on my keyboard and uh, he was stepping on the power button. I was down. Ah, he's doing it again. <laughs> okay, hold on. He is desperately standing on my keyboard and it flipped me upside down. I don't know how that happened. So if you don't mind, rotate. Thank you very much. There you, go. Yep. <laughs> I appreciate uh, that. you can hold shift and mouse wheel to spin it around and F flips it. Okay. Oh, that is fantastic. I don't know how he did it because I wasn't touching my mouse wheel at the time. But <laughs> yeah, there there must be a single button that does a, uh, a vertical flip. All right. So you guys are just clamoring to get down the stairs here. Uh, so we got to go to the next map. <gasps> Ooh. It's a new map. It's a new map. Ooh. Exciting. Ooh, it's, a map. Music change. it's a map. I haven't heard the music change yet. Or it's like ambient change. I don't know. It's oh. just the piano oh, guy is gone. I hear it. The piano, piano guy piano. is gone. We never did find him. You know, he was just in the walls somewhere, just yeah, playing on true. that piano. But I'm gonna pause you guys for a second while I turn the music down because the way that it's sounding at the moment, uh, the second something takes off here, it's gonna be real loud. Yeah, it's there. We go. Bassy. That's, that's a little bit better. All right. Um, so, you guys, um, let's get down the stairs here. Um, you see stairs, uh, spiraling deep down into the earth before ending in a chamber that looks like it's been prepared specifically. Why do we not have, uh, whoops, I just realized you guys, the chat is staring at a black screen. Oh, that's not <laughs> good. Whoops. No, it's not supposed to be a black screen. Also, uh, welcome in, Insomnia. Uh, Bozzy, you get I'm another hero point. I'm going to reload Oh, this. thank you very much. Oh, it's paused. I was like, why can't I move my guy? <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, Nikki. Jeez. Carl's standing on you. You can't go anywhere. Carl's uh, standing <laughs> on you. You're on, you're on my foot, Carl. You're on my... Ow, ow. That's your Sorry. stick. Ow. If I lift 
There we go. My staff right now, I'll just fall down the stairs. <laughs> but I thought I gave you that potion. Do you not feel better? I feel a little bit better still feel like I have a hole through my lung. <laughs> mm, yeah. Where is it about right? It's just like poking your chest. <laughs> ah, ah. Right there? Oh. Ah. Am I getting closer? Stop. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Poor Carl. <laughs> Is he Gross. is he also giggling? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if he was, was absolutely not. Poking, keep poking him. It's just giggling. <laughs> I'm ticklish. I can't tell if he's in pain or laughing. I don't know which one it is. Um, okay. Yeah, we got the we got the stream back working. Just took our reload. Um, does that sometimes when I change maps on that stream view screen? So Ooh. I don't know. Um, but yeah. Uh, Ooh, coins. Coins. Oh, did I hear coins? Money? Hold on. <laughs> there are coins on the floor. Uh, oh, the made it all the way down. God dang, he's quick. <laughs> down in the earth. <laughs> he's already down there. Before ending in a chamber that looks like it's been prepared specifically to defend against intruders. On one side of the room, a table's been turned on its side to provide cover, while on the other side, crates and barrels have been piled up to create a second. Hmm. That is what you guys would see right here. Um, I need you guys all to roll a... Yep, I need all of you guys to... Um... Let's see, tell you the perception DC. Uh, what is your perception? Plus 10. Ooh. Roll a perception oh. plus 10? Nope, just what is your no, perception? Like... Plus 10. Oh. Like, a, like passive perception, but you can't <clears throat> use that word no. in this game. Plus three. No. Sixteen. Plus three. Fifteen. Sixteen, fifteen. Thirteen. Thirteen. Got real big like eyes. Blind. Hold on, sorry. Right under your armor class. Oh, yeah, because I keep looking at the other thing. Uh, fifteen. Okay. Thank you. This, uh. Yep. Is the water too loud? Oh, yeah. I don't even hear it. I don't hear water. It's because of where. Oh my god! (laughs) I hear it! (laughs) Jakut's the only one who hears it this time. (laughs) He's crazy. Yeah, I'll get the water (laughs) turned down. It is is a little loud. Whoops, didn't mean to turn it off completely. I just hear basement noise, ambient basement noise. You know that yeah, rumble like that all mm-hmm. oh, yeah. that, mm-hmm. the rumble that all basements have. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Going in the basement, it's rumbling. Okay. Just there's the sound of ground. There's that. That's usually the means there's an earthquake and we should get out of here. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> uh, let's see. I'm trying to make sure I roll this uh, not public. There we go. Ooh. That's so cool. Yeah, iconoclast. As a natural good. Oh, ouch. Okay. There we go. Uh, let's see. God, the vibrate doesn't get turned down. <laughs> this is this is true. To make everybody have to use the bathroom. I can click off of it and you guys won't hear it. So, um <laughs> right away, um, to cut. When you get to the bottom of the stairs here. Um, you spot, let's see, it's this guy. There's one over here. Um, you see kind of fidgeting behind here, um, some ears and a tail, uh, kind of whirring around. Looks like somebody isn't, uh, isn't able to, uh, uh, you know, like stay focused on what he's doing. He's messing around with stuff and you, the movement over there immediately grabs your attention. And um, you're a soft click somewhere in the room that alerts this guy here, and he spins around with a crossbow at the ready. But you have the drop on him. Oh, I I tackle him. Okay, get over there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, runs over there, twenty foot. Making a, I gotta get out of D and D brain. I gotta make sure I'm, I'm using the right things here. Uh, make 
Uh, Did we mention we're learning? We are learning. We are. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this we're is new. most of our very first times playing this. So. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. Acrobatics. On a twenty-six acrobatics check to dive Fair. over the barrel into him. Oh, that'll that'll tackle him. <laughs> you are on top of him, rolling around on him. So that is your one one for movement, uh, two for the tackle, and what is your third action, sir? One for the movement, for the tackle, or one for the tackle? Okay. Um, all right, that was that was very confusing. One for the movement, one for the tackle. You have one action left. Okay. Um. Oh, Have full my dance. gosh. <laughs> um, is it, do I see any other kobolds that I'm back here? Uh, nope, not back in this area. <laughs> um, this That's an amazing. Dance. Oh my God. <laughs> That's so great. You have a habit this of always so being cute. in the way when other creatures <laughs> attempt to move. Wow, what a cat. That's amazing. <laughs> So, Sounds about um, right. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's. I'm gonna I'm gonna give everyone else um, a, a benefit of uh, this two circumstance penalty to their. Oh wait, wait, no, he's got to roll. Yes, have to roll. Oh my god, how does this work? Mm -hmm. Wow. Attempt an acrobatic check and get some adjacent creatures reflex DC. Okay, uh, so I gotta look at his reflex DC. My bad. We're learning, we're learning, I swear. Um, his, uh, is 19? So you got a success, not a critical Ooh. success. Okay. So he has minus two to reflex saves until the start of my next turn. Cool. And I think he's prone? Uh, yeah, we'll say he's prone. And he's got a cat on his face? He does. <laughs> okay. All right. Done. Okay. So uh, then with, with combat started, I'm going to have uh, everybody go ahead and roll initiative. Um, this guy... This is already in there. There we go. You guys should be able to uh, roll initiative now. Look at my butt. Look at it. This is, this is true. <laughs> this is um, I don't see where I can roll for an encounter. An option to roll. You can go you click up. your token, hit the cross swords and shield, and you can roll it in the encounters tab. Yeah, the encounters tab. I have that open, and I see Carl and Cut have rolled but normally there's like my name with a little dice behind beside it and i can yeah. click that but that is not right click you can also token. go up to attributes and roll initiative from attributes oh i'll do that it's kind of like windows you can get there any of if like 15. <laughs> uh, initiative true. uh so <clears throat> initiative like based on perception i guess yeah it's based <laughs> on perception unless you have some other way to do it cool 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 so technically, to cut would have rolled perception as well because he wasn't attacking from hiding. He was strolled out in the middle of the room and took off across the room. But we'll keep it. Uh, we'll keep that one for now. Um, this one I need to make me a seventeen. This guy's is. One that to cut is sitting on rolled a net one. That seems fair. Yep. <laughs> okay. And then this is a reminder that you can right click on the cross swords above the chat at the very top of the chat to pop out your initiative tracker. Mm -hmm. And uh, go ahead and begin this. So, wh what? Carl's first? <laughs> oh, Carl, let's go. What nonsense is this? <laughs> if it happens, it's got to happen once. <laughs> All right, so all we hear is something to cut, run off, and tackle something. <laughs> yep. <That's what> you're <laughs> like. The crashing of like wooden barrels and uh, something go crashing across the ground, <laughs> and some some kobold is yelling around the corner there. Oh, that doesn't sound very good. Oh, what, 
What's going on? What's going on? And Carl's going to very slowly limp down the stairs. Oh, Carl, I don't think that's a good <laughs> idea. <laughs> <laughs> and from here, can I tell? The, the cook, they're prone, aren't they, on the other side of those barrels? Uh, you would just see Takut's furry butt tail. and his tail <laughs> up in the air, um, just oh, thrashing no. around the other side of these barrels. A raptor. <laughs> Cut! What's going on in here? Uh, cobalt. <laughs> Why did I say it like a cobalt? <laughs> no! I was like, what is that voice? He adopted the voice while he's sitting on this poor cobalt. Uh, I tried to confuse them. <laughs> so I don't see anything else in here besides that one that, well, the tail of to cut. No, that is uh, just just the one over here. Okay. Um, he's gonna come hobbling down the stairs. And then he's gonna sigh. And he's gonna hobble back up the stairs. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, okay. That's completely fair. And pat um, Gumshoe on the back and say, Go get them, friend. Okay, I guess. I yes, don't I'm think up. I have any spells for this. Nothing yeah, there's nothing I can cast on you. So, <laughs> oh, here for just for kicks and giggles because I know you love it when I do this. And this room isn't blue yeah, yet. I yeah, know, yeah, I know yeah. Where yeah this is going. Magic, we need it. We need it. <laughs> Otherwise, how do we know we've been here? Yeah, exactly. Hey, Valar. Because we can see it on the map. <laughs> This room is ours now. Any magic in here? See? There is no magic in here, just a big blue light. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, enter. Okay. Uh, Gumshoe, you are up. Alright. Gumshoe's gonna go in. Sword drawn, shield drawn. Okay. Uh, hello? To cut? Are you. Oh, oh what's happening over there? T- are you okay? <laughs> Yes, I'm gonna I've, got, I've got this one pinned down. I think there's probably more. I heard a noise over there. Wait, 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 which way's over there? <laughs> Point with your West. tail! <laughs> West! Never eat shredded wheat. Okay, this way. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. That's amazing. Okay. <laughs> I've honestly never heard that, and I love it. You haven't? No. Nope. Wow. I've only heard sour wheat. I do soggy waffles. Uh, Gumshoe's gonna hop up over the table and check around behind here, I guess, to see if there's there's anybody behind the table. Uh, Absolutely. There's another (gasps) kobold uh, ducked down behind the table with a loaded crossbow ready to go. Um, Oh my god. I got one! And I'm gonna tackle it too. (laughs) Okay. Uh, This was a uh, an acrobatics check. Okay. Against a 19 uh, uh, reflex. Let's see. Okay. Oh, I don't know if I'm that good at acrobatics. We'll find out. Here we go. Not that great. <laughs> this is awkward. <laughs> uh, run over, try to oh. try to tackle him, and she's kind of get like tangled up in his equipment and stuff. Like his crossbow, his his uh, little armored vest that he's got on. It, it's just he looks at you funny and just like, pulls back. <laughs> Just making some really puzzled sounds, um, but you land uh, on the square, uh, pretty much where you're at. <laughs> this one's a wily one. <laughs> Do I have one more action left? Because I just walked, right? Uh, that was movement. Um, the attempted tackle. Yeah, you have one more left. Okay, I accidentally hit initiative instead of uh, the skills. I went to attributes instead of skills and rolled initiative, so my initiative changed, but I don't think that'll affect the order all that much. I was at 22, I believe. Oh yeah, that'll affect things. So oh, okay. I can change it back for you. Yeah. Um, I guess I'll stab him. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna panic stab him. When all else fails, just stab him. Panic stab! Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll right. try to tackle him, and then if he starts fighting, I'll just... <laughs> Okay, uh, I'll roll Might attack. Attempt a strike. <laughs> oh boy! Oh no! That seems fair. That seems fair. <laughs> the panic so. stab after the the failed tackle is just <laughs> like uh, way too short. There, he's just kind of laughing at you. <laughs> 
oh, did, did you just <laughs> laugh at me? He uh, shakes and I his think head. That's where oh, God damn it, nods his head. I'm doing it again. <laughs> he nods. I think that's where I'll leave Gumshoe. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and this is what you guys see uh, around those oh, barricades. So cute. I, I love the Pathfinder kobolds. Yes. Okay, uh, to cut. You are up. Mm. Oh, that's cool. Cobalt in my way. I can't see my carriage. There it goes. He's doing uh, his job. Okay. Um, we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna stab this guy. Um. Or, uh, yeah. Why not? Yeah, go um, ahead. That is a 20 total, and I have to look up real fast. Uh, prone. Because I know what it does in 5e. I don't know what it does here. Uh, you're flat-footed and take a minus two uh, circumstance penalty to attack rolls. Uh, you would also be um, prone as well, so you're lying on top of him. So 18 is still going to hit, I believe. Uh, the only move action you can use while you're prone is to crawl or stand. Standing ends the prone condition. You can take cover while prone. You would be knocked prone. You're climbing or flying. You fall. Okay. Yeah. So it's just minus two to attacks, and uh, while you're attacking and while you're defending, it's minus two to AC. Flat-footed. And scout's AC is sixteen, so you will hit. Oh yeah, we haven't been doing the whole targeting thing. Um, oh, okay. <clears throat> Damage. Us. Plus. Um, he is definitely flat-footed. Yep. Uh, oh, definitely doing... Damage. I don't know why I kind of missed the piano guy. I know. It seems awfully quiet. I know. It does. Should I start? Yes, yeah, start playing some piano, piano for piano. I got a piano. <laughs> right should become the new piano guy. <laughs> ding, ding, yeah. ding, 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 ding. All right, it takes two more sneak attack damage. <laughs> Oops. Bloop. All right. That is one action. I will then... Uh, of him, oh, how's he looking? Um, not bad, not great. Bad, not great. Very well. I will. And over him. Okay. My second action. Now, have you slide have one my... square off of him? You can choose uh, which square. Haha, -ha, that's the trap card. Damn it. Um, <laughs> Another spike trap right there. Jeez. No. I know. I'm just no, imagining. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, no, go ahead. I only have one action left. I cannot. It, oh. Ah, more. It's are hard. You can attack again. Uh, just have your multi attack penalty. Um, which is fine because now I'm standing, so I don't have the own penalty. Um, but look at that, there it is. Um, sorry, uh, um, oh, instead of okay, so instead of. Seven be the plus two. Yeah, you're gonna want to click on the plus two uh, button next to your rapier. Very good. No. Nope. nope. Is that one nope. Nope. Right, we don't have we don't have critical fumbles or anything going on for this. It's a beginner playthrough, so nothing bad happens there. Just a very bad miss. <laughs> All right. Uh, this scout over here is gonna go. 
Um, he has. Valor, are you talking about the, the critical fumbles? I know they're fun, but we're still learning this uh, as we go mm -hmm. here, so I, I really don't want to do that. And besides, Carl's already died. I really don't want to go again. I've been <laughs> hearing died. about this. That wasn't from a critical fumble. That was that was a, a critical <laughs> hit. Mm. <laughs> I, I don't want to hear mm. about killing Carl again for <clears throat> two more weeks. You will. He didn't let me forget it. <laughs> All right. Never. It's a drama queen. He's got his. Uh... Oh, you know what? He's got fun things here. Uh... Sorry, guys. I think I dropped from the game, so I'll let you know. I don't know if my character disappeared. Oh, you did. No. I'll be back. Go. Okay. All right. <laughs> this kobold over here in front of you, Gumshoe, is going to uh, use one action for hurried retreat. And. I'm going to move away from you, and then it's going to target you and fire off the crossbow. Don't hit me, please. I'm not there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wait until you get back. You can't hit what you can't see. <laughs> Guys, I don't remember my password. This is oh, a terrible no. time. <laughs> oh, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm okay. good. <laughs> okay, <nice. laughs> Sorry. No. Oh my god. Same panic I just had. Okay, launch, launch. Get in there. Get in there. Keep meaning about killing Rose characters anyway. You might as well do it. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well do it again. Iconoplast told me to. Um, did they Valor, pay you? Stop telling people my password. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it looks like you're back in here. I am just downloading the world. Okay. The whole world. The whole world. <laughs> That's what it says. Too impressive. Too impressive. Mm. Three, two, one. Okay, I'm here. I'm here. I'm everywhere. I'm back. Okay, what is happening to me and how did I die? Uh, you are being <laughs> shot at by a crossbow. Okay. Um, I assume 24 hits uh, Gumshoe. Yes, it does. Okay. Yep. Uh, Ugh. damage. Gumshoe takes five damage. Just click the damage button. Perfect. Okay. Uh, and then for its... Mm, let's see. For its last um, action here, it is going to run over this way. Oof. Yeah. And it's going to pull out a short sword to try to strike at to cut next round. But that's its turn for right now. Uh, the one on the ground is he's dropped his crossbow. He is going to panic stab, uh, as is the thing to do, apparently, mm -hmm. um, to cut. And let's see. I have no actions, buddy. Or. Because he's prone. No oh. sword for you. Hmm. What prone again? Can he you should be able to switch weapons. I thought so. I he said his only actions are to stand up or crawl, oh, yeah. right? Well, you're prone or crawl and stand. That's weird, though. You're lying on the ground. You should be able to you switch it. flat footed and take a minus two circumstance penalty to attack roll. The only huh. action to take away are prone. Oh, yeah, that's weird. Okay, so he's going to stand first, then, as one action and get rid of the prone condition. Mm, can you not get rid of it? Well... Looks like it's gone. Okay, now me. it's gone. Cool. Does standing still provoke attack of opportunity? Uh, attack of opportunity is a little bit different than this. Not everybody has them. Um, let's see. I can look for it real quick. I'm going to say no in this one, just because I don't want to get too lost in the rules. And Takut does not have attack of opportunity anyway. All right, so we spent one action to stand. The next one is going to strike at Takut in a mad panic. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. 12 to hit. These panic numbers. stabs are not good. No, I, I'm going to stop using that as a description. It feels like it's just <laughs> coming to fruition. Uh, 
<laughs> and it's going to keep uh, stabbing, just a flurry of stabs, so he gets the multiple attack penalty. Um, 21 does hit. Okay. It's going to hit you for two damage. Click that damage button. And then we'll move on to Bozzy. All right. Um, <laughs> so she's here, heard like a series of thuds and shuffling and weapons going off. Carl went down the stairs and then sighed and came back up the stairs. <laughs> and that's that's essentially her side of the fight. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and told Gumshoe to go get him. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true. I forgot about the go get him. Um, in a similar fashion, she's going to um, pat Carl's shoulder and just be like, just just in case you die. I mean, not die. Just, just I don't know. Stay safe, please. Uh, she's going to cast Forbidding Ward on you. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. nice. And then she'll use the rest of her action, because that's two actions for the ants, uh, to scooch down the stairs and see what the hell is going on. Okay. Um, and I think she would stop here and just realize that to cuts in the corner with two kobolds. Yep. And uh, that's her turn, because the action to move and the two actions for the Forbidden Ward. Okay, perfect. Um, and then we're back up to the top with Carl? With Carl? <laughs> I'm trying to make sure I'm Carl? doing Forbidden Ward on myself. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think you can drag the spell effect from my thing? From the chat onto Aren't your you? token, yep. No, yeah. it didn't let me. Let's let me see it. if I can do it. It said I didn't have the permission to do it. Yeah, there you go. I got oh, you. There we looks go. like it worked. Yeah. There we go. All right. Um, hopefully things are a little more calm down there. So he's going to hobble down the stairs. Oh, <clears throat> there's one. And <laughs> we'll target him. And where are my spells? Attack. A good option. Boom. Carl nice. hits with an 18. Nice. And then damage. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so four fire damage into the kobold as it's uh, wildly panic stabbing over at uh, to cut there. <laughs> uh, and then he'll just kind of Prop himself back up against the wall. Okay. Uh, that all right, all right. looking great. <laughs> Go get them, Gumshoe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Um, <laughs> Gumshoe's just gonna run this way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and then, okay, I don't know about weapons. Uh, if I want to throw my spear, do I have to sheath my uh, sword and stuff? And does that take an action? I can't remember how this works. So I think it will be uh, one action to sheath, uh, one action to draw, and then an action to throw. Oh my. Yeah. Because they each, if you look, um, you click your token. You just drop you your sword. It's a free action. You can do that too. Really? Yep. You just drop it on the ground. Yeah. Hell yeah. I'm going to drop my short sword and then I'm going to actually draw the spear. I don't know. And can I, th can you throw spears? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to throw the spear at, uh, I got a target at the one that's this one. Might that's good. Move. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. No. Um, oh my goodness. Can you throw swords? That's a good question. Can I throw my sword? It doesn't look like anything. It. You put your mind to it. Yeah, you, I mean, you probably could. It's not going to do very well. In Pathfinder 1, there was a throw anything feat, so... Yeah. Throw anything. <laughs> the goblins <laughs> like that. So, I'm guessing I can throw, let's, right? Let's throw... Uh, spears have a range of... Sorry, I'm looking real fast. Oh, that's okay. I just realized I can hover over the spear and it tells me information about it. Okay. That works too. Oh, 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 I don't know. I don't You're know how this works. 20 feet. Okay, so you have feet. to move uh, one more square closer. Okay, that's fine. I can, I'll, I'll do that. Or like, 
Do you mind if I wreck on <laughs> wreck on that or? No, that's fine. Oh, that's fine. Okay, good. Um, okay, yeah. Then I'm gonna throw the spear uh, at that. Okay. Uh, and let's see how it goes. Nice. Oh, look at that spear go! Big old chop in cool. motion. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that hits. Okay. That's exactly how he threw it. <laughs> just uh-huh. helicoptering through the air as unwieldy. <laughs> yeah. go sailing. So one throws spears with a good spin on them. Okay. Uh, he takes three damage and uh, impaled by the oh. spear, burned just seconds before, is uh, dead in front of uh, Takut. Takut, you no longer have something that was just wildly stabbing back and forth at you. So that was a move, a draw, a throw. So that's all three actions for you, Gumshoe. Yep. Standing. Thank you. To cut, it is your turn. Hmm. <clears throat> right. Uh. How can I get this guy flat-footed? <laughs> yes. I think there's like a feint or a disarm. Feint, you can get him flat-footed if you use feint. A move. Uh, under deception, maybe? Yeah. I think, yeah, it's a de- in first edition, it was a deception check versus a sense motive, but I don't know what it is in second edition. I'll right, look that up for you, if you are interested in that to cut. If not, that's fine. Um, yeah, yeah, that is definitely what I would like to, to try to do. Okay. Um, you need I to make do. a deception check against reception DC. Boom. Boom. 18 is the target number. Nope. Well, I got a 10. All right. So um, it's just a failure. He just doesn't bite on it. There's no other uh, uh, repercussions or anything from it. All right, then. Uh, would he be flat-footed against a ranged attack from a different direction? If you're standing next to him, messing with him. Yeah. I see where this is going. I think that's the concept of the faint is. Right. Like, <laughs> as, as trying to, to faint to, to stab him. I see that he's not buying it. Like, I want to have a rock come from a different direction. Smack him. <laughs> is, the, is what I'm thinking. But, uh, you know. Oh. Can't, then I will just... I'll say that, like, the... Crap, I can't remember for the range attack if it's uh, flat-footed, if there's an enemy next to him, next to the target. Mm. Um, no, they needed two people next to the, It was... In order to be flat-footed, they needed someone on either side of it. Okay. Both so, sides of it. Yeah, we'll say he's not going to be flat-footed for this if you throw the rock at him. Because uh, he, he didn't bite on your feint. You did some weird dance maneuver, but, uh, you know, you're still mm-hmm. stuck in cat dance mode instead of I'm really trying to juke you out kind of mode. <laughs> All right, then I'll just uh, I'll swipe my my claws at him. Okay. Um, uh, for 20 to hit. Uh, 20 hits him. So it'll do six uh, points of damage. Um, and I will raise my shield. My heavy road dodge, which is attached to my arm. Is that up? Tank against this kobold. Don't have a button for that, though. Oh, that's oh. how you do that. <laughs> <laughs> the the rogue is teaching the fighter how to tank. Oh my god! All right, so you have to oh, I see. go into your inventory, equip the shield. Mm. Yeah, it it is it is equipped. Okay. Maybe if I tell it that it's worn? I can see that shield on your sheet. Um, huh. it's, uh, it's the under armor, uh, leather armor, oh, wait, and there. a heavy on donch. It's French for buckler. Donch. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure that's exactly how it's pronounced. Worn Perfect accent. Held one I, I, hand. I, I, yeah, I had it. 
hell, but that's not that's not right. It, it's it should be warm. Yep, I got you. Um, that that doesn't. Cut's just holding it in his offhand. Not. <laughs> All right, so that's there, and then we'll go up to your action bar and see. You, I, uh, if you don't have, actions, I'm wondering if you don't have uh, proficiency in shields. If it's not going to let you. Might be the case. I'm going to check one more thing. Raise a shield and see if this works. There you go. I mis I misheard that as the gaze. Like, not the straights, but the gaze. <laughs> <laughs> nope, not that one. Uh, I think I got it, though. I got the shield raised on you. Okay. All right. Cool. So I next... will the end turn button. There you go. That's uh, Kobold is um, going to use his action to run off this way. Uh, he is going to target you and then try to uh, hit you with his crossbow. Sword sword. Got yeah, crossbow. Oh! oh. Uh, yeah, that's hit by nine. A... Oof. Oh, so it's not a crit, just shy of a crit. It's because of the detch. Yep. Ooh. Yeah, the, the shield <sighs> actually saved you from eating a crit there. Oh, did roll max damage, though. So you eat eight damage from a crossbow bolt. That comes off of my shield's hit points because yep. it's, uh, it's that kind of so. I think you hit them down. down to, builds down to 16. Yeah, his shield eats that damage. Shields shields work a little bit differently. I feel like uh, the shields in Pathfinder are more akin to like the, the Zelda shields where you just kind of burn through them. Um, that, that, um, and then he is going to... Um, I'll say that he is going to try to... Uh, duck back behind this here and this. Right, try to get a little bit of cover from the other people coming after him. Also, uh, hey, Dragon at Rest, welcome in. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Whoops, I skipped Bozzy. There we go. <laughs> I caught it this time. Do that. <laughs> the start of, like, Carl's turn, does it just keep reminding him that he's wounded? Is that why it, like... <laughs> Yeah, it's like, it, hey, it's your turn. Don't forget. It Don't should forget. let anyone that has a persistent effect know what is active at the start of their turn. Ah, uh, okay, gotcha. That is hilarious. Okay, um, from Bozzy's angle, is that a is that a table in between um, me and the the like? Can I see over and see him right now, or is it tall enough to hide him? Um, he's specifically trying to to duck down, but this is a large crate. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he would I? He's going to have cover, but you would still be able to see huh. him. Um, okay. That's fine, because um, I'm not rolling anything that needs to roll to hit. It, oh. I imagine I just need to see them. Um, so uh, seeing him where he is, I see him get a really good shot on to cut, but thankfully the shield did most of the work. Um, just, he's just going to... Uh, let's, let's, let's not do this. Uh, she's going to cast Daze on that guy. Okay. I should have hit target, but I didn't. Um, but yes, it needs a 17 will save. And I'm going to sneeze, so I'm going to mute myself now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so he saves on that. Uh, if the target critically fails to save, it's also stunned. Ah, oh, dang. Uh, yeah, but I think he does take the damage either way. Yep. Uh, so that's four. I don't think anyone has failed my days. No, not yet. And it's a, I think, it's a um, critical fail, too. Yeah, I'm um, over four, I think. I know, I just want to... I, I want that sweet, juicy crit fail. I just can't get it. It's okay. Uh, one of these so days. One of these days. One of these... One of these days. Whatever day uh, Paul doesn't die, it will work. I think... <laughs> I think she's going to stay there. Uh, actually, like a, like a, a rat folk shield for Carl. <laughs> uh, but that's the end of her turn. All right, and Carl, it is your turn. 
It's back to me. I so he has like partial wounded. cover. <laughs> Don't forget I'm wounded, yeah. <laughs> he has yeah. partial cover from us. Uh, yeah, the one behind the crate does. Well, the rat folk doesn't want me to walk into the room. You can walk around her. She's not like boxing you in, <laughs> but she's just she's just standing there. <laughs> and then Carl's fired with just standing here too. <laughs> <laughs> Lean don't give against the wall. He looks at it despite the cover. Another ball of fire appears in his open hand. <sighs> Here we go again. You get plus two to AC. That's what it is. Sorry, I had to look that up. It's all good. Um, let's go. 21. Doesn't nice. matter that he has cover. He's going to eat nice. a little flame ball there. Oh, nice. oh, good damage. Let's go, Carl. Nice damage. He's, let's go. He's he doesn't down. even look. He kind of tosses it and then goes right back to leaning against the wall. <laughs> oh, the, the no look shot. <laughs> so, yeah, the little kobold second word duck back there, like trying to reload the crossbow and just absolutely eats this uh, this fireball that, or firebolt, whatever. Little ball of flame. There we go. <laughs> uh, as he's, he's going, attention is more at uh, to cut than anything else. Um, that is it for the kobolds in here. And because the, the silence is kind of driving me crazy, I'm going to try to play this. Hopefully it's not too loud. There we go. Piano guy is back. <gasps> piano guy. Oh, I miss piano guy. Everybody we all miss piano, piano guy. <laughs> it wasn't the same without him, you know? Okay. Part of our adventure. Good. Is, is everyone all right? I think there was a second where, like, Bozzy felt the fire of the uh, produced <laughs> flame behind her and then heard the, like, roaring fire go over her ear. <laughs> so the second was like, <laughs> oh, okay, it's fine. Uh, good job! <laughs> Just momentary panic. <laughs> I am not okay. I, 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 what happened? I, I, I got stabbed. <laughs> stabbed me. To cut yeah, as I'm, a sad. Did, did, did it go through your lung? <laughs> what? Oh, my, it went through my flesh. So, uh, gumshoe, actually. You're fine, you're fine. While you're wandering around back there, that collection of barrels and stuff, um, mm -hmm. that smells just terrible to you. Uh, it's the smell of uh, rotten fish and B.O. just all over that area. Uh, oh, I, oh, I, hold on to cut. I, yeah, sorry, just for a second. This smells really bad, like, but also smells like a clue. And Perhaps to the missing fish. Yeah, you can see that this wall is broken and it looks like there's just a bunch of shit jammed in this area here. Ooh. Yeah. Um, can I, like, break open one of the barrels and see what's inside? Uh, yeah. So, like before, are you going to just smash open this? Or are you going to try to... I'm going to smash it open. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Why did you ask? <laughs> Absolutely just smashes it open. Uh, yeah, old rotten fish pour out of that oh. first barrel. It just smells what? just a whole wave of it. Precedentation. Okay. Cool. Air freshener Carl's on duty. No, Buzzy only takes for out myself. Her, uh... Only for yourself. <laughs> yep, yep. Okay. Bozzy takes out her healer's kit and just stuffs gauze up her nose. Also, oh, it smells so awful. <laughs> Oh boy, why did I do that? Okay. Oh no. And while you're uh, trying to like half gagging at that smell, why don't you roll me a perception check if you'd like? Okay. <laughs> That's in skills, right? Yeah. No. Yes. Uh, to administer uh, stealth, performance, religion. No, it's <laughs> not skills. in skills. It's in. You have to do it for oh, it's under machine. perception. I see. It's got oh, its yeah, own yeah. thing. Yeah. There we go. Nice, good roll. That was that was a decent roll. Uh, Twenty-three. Okay. Um, so yeah, you notice that um, behind this barricade, 
Uh, you not only hear the sounds of dripping water in the distance, you also feel a slight breeze coming from that way. Hmm. From, like, from this way? Like, hold on. Uh, yep. This way? And um, if you were going to take this barricade apart... Uh, yeah. Right. I'll start shoveling through the fish as Takut's getting healed up. Okay. Takut's getting healed up by who? <laughs> or I thought someone was getting <laughs> healed <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was going to, but I thought it was going to <laughs> Sorry, I thought I, I thought that, that caught him something. Takut's getting healed up, right? Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mm. I thought she said no. Very busy uh, uh, covering her nose because she, in particular, is a uh, long snout rat. So she has like very sensitive scent. So she's doing everything she can to make sure she cannot smell. Yeah, this is just an overpowering nastiness here. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Everyone, everyone who has a cat is probably aware that cats love stinky things. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm just like. Mm, it's not that bad. I tell it's... I don't know what frog facts, guys. I don't know how frogs feel about <laughs> smells. Nikki, we talked so, about this. You were supposed to have a list of at least ten <laughs> frog facts every session. <laughs> frog Damn. facts. <laughs> Damn, Pretty sure is... they can s- smell through their skin. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's everywhere. I feel like it's all over my body. This is incredibly disgusting. Why did I do that? Oh, wait, oh, there's a path to cut. <laughs> I turn around. Oh, you're not injured anymore. Not? Where are you? Are you Damn. still blocking? I, I don't think he's been healed yet, has he? He's <laughs> <laughs> healed yet. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just like I come over. I've got like I got my hand on my side where I got I got I got I got uh what was the word uh panic uh, stabbed panic stabbed yes <laughs> yes uh, he panic stabbed me here in my side it's, it's oh. bleeding it hurts that looks bad <laughs> yeah I mean you're handling it well though. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, you better uh, to sit down. I need to get some healing done, all right? <laughs> yeah, Holy <excellent>. nasal. <laughs> Excellent. But uh, is going to do her medicine check with her kit. Um, okay. uh, skills. Damn it, Carl. Get it, Carl. Get it. Don't let him stop you. <laughs> Every chance you... That's a freaking oh, two. No. You know, I just got a hero point, so go. I'll use mine for this. Why not? Let's okay. let's give it a Ew. shot. Hero point. Let's re-roll this. Yeah. Uh, take two. Oh. Oh. Wow. That is four that difference. D8 in uh, hit points. Oh my points. god. You do not need that much. <laughs> But that sure, let's go. <laughs> does a spectacular <laughs> job on to cut poor Carl. <laughs> Too many. Uh, or here's too many hit points. Wow, oh, 18 HP. I could have used that. Oh my <laughs> <God>. <laughs> well, so many other times we could have used it. I feel great. <laughs> Waiting for uh, Carl drugs. to get like the the quad <laughs> ones on his next heal. <laughs> yeah. I have to crit again, though, so who knows? <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, once again, uh, terrible bedside manner, uh, bandages that are too tight. She's going to, like, wrench you around if you're not moving correctly. <laughs> uh, and then afterwards, you just tie, like, way too many bow or not bows, but, like, knots in it. So even if you were trying to get rid of it, it'd be very difficult. Mm-hmm. Uh, so... I'll say. All right, go ahead. That's it. I was just saying I'll say. <laughs> Okay. All right. So yeah, you guys have uh, the room to the west here, where Carl's facing and where he's already obliterated with the tech magic. Um, obliterated. Then you have the room to the north, uh, or the, the little passageway to the north, where uh, uh, Gumshoe. There we go. <laughs> Carl, you're on thin ice. <laughs> um, <laughs> Just trying to figure out if there's magic in either of those places. Uh, I will let you know in just a second. Uh, the passageway to the north, um, especially once you have it cleared out there, like this, the sound of the water is much stronger uh, now that you've cleared that out. Um, there's that bit of like eo funk coming from that direction too. Um, so 
uh, the magic that Carl is uh, hellbent on finding here. Um, let's see. Let me let me tell you. Let me look, and then I can tell you. There's nothing in the room to the west, I don't believe. And then... Let's see how far that stretches. Uh, north... <laughs> I can't write all of this down, guys. <laughs> I committed They're to memory. <laughs> loading you up with frog facts. <laughs> yeah, frog facts. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see. Alright, it's taking a second to find because uh, there's a little bit spread out here. Uh, da -da -da. No magic north of you either. Don't sense any magic coming from these two paths. That's good, I guess. Um. Which path do we want to check first, I guess? Hmm. Hmm. I think I see we some go... sort of fountain this way. Secret tunnel? Or obvious passage? One. Secret tunnel? Or obvious <laughs> passage? Oh, uh, but before we make that final decision... Um... Excuse me. Um, I'd like to, to to look inside this crate and the other barrels, as well as collect the crossbows off of the kobolds and um, whatever other valuables they may have in their pockets. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can take the two crossbows. Um, the barricade is uh is mostly just. Um, the old rotten fish and just like random odds and ends. Mostly like it looks like, like no, no, clothes no, the, and shoes and things. The, oh, this, oh it, are you calling this a barricade as well? Or uh, yeah, those are uh, the barrels are full of the the rotten fish and the crate is just a large empty crate. There's nothing in that one. Uh, on the kobolds themselves, um, you would find <clears throat> the crossbow. They have leather armor, little kobold sized leather armor. Uh, short swords. Um, they each had 20 bolts, uh, crossbow bolts on them. Uh, I think three total were fired, maybe only two. Um, uh, but on both of them, you also find uh, looks like part of. Well, it takes a second of looking it over, but as you kind of flip it around in your hands, it looks like it's a piece of like a large eggshell with um, ivory in color. And it's shot through with uh, green veins. It's all fashioned onto a little piece of copper. Uh, I I see that, and I immediately hand it uh, off to Bozzy, and I'm like, Bozzy, I think this is for you. What? What? Why is this for me? It looks religious or something. I don't know. Terribly uh, I'm better with weird things, but uh, she'll take a look at it. <laughs> it's weird. It's it's pretty weird, I think. Yes. Yeah. What do I do? Plus five in religion. Look at me. Okay, I'm sorry. Anyway, do you, do you need a roll for me to see what this thing is? Uh, yeah. So I would probably need um, I would probably need a nature check from you to see what this is. <sighs> Uh, my weakness. Okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. I mean, it's oh my egg, goodness! So. Uh, it's not a bad one. So it had a, a pretty high DC to know what this is. So you don't, just kidding. <laughs> you don't know what it is exactly. It's just it looks like some kind of uh, large um, reptile, maybe large turtle or something. Um, maybe a big turtle? Maybe a... Uh, I don't know. Reptile, some kind. Maybe, maybe pass that off to Carl, then. Carl. Uh, look at the thing. Uh, all right, all right. Carl's passing out from blood loss in the back. 
<laughs> just hands him an egg. <laughs> yeah, Laura, look at this egg. It's yeah, just part, little, little bitty part of an eggshell. Oh. Nope. <laughs> I have a higher plus than you, but nope. I always use. I'll use a hero point. But she uses a rep turtle. Go. With that natural one, he's like, I'm fairly nope. certain. Nope. Doesn't matter. <laughs> oh no. I feel like at that point I'd be like, it's for a rhino. That's what that this egg is for. It's for a rhino. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I can't really see clearly right now. Or think clearly right now. Yeah. So which room are you guys deciding on? The west or the north? Carl, there's still no magic in this room. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. There continues are to be no sure magic in this room. <laughs> yep, there, there is sure? still no magic. No, I, uh, technically, I guess Bozzy has magic. Okay. Secret. Okay, I'm gonna flip a coin. Uh, just secret tunnel. Let's let's secret check the secret tunnel. Follow first. Let's just do the, that. The going, uh, uh, mm. Hold on. Yes. <laughs> oh, keep no, no, going, no, no, no. guys. Keep going. Before before you guys go, I'm gonna set a trap in this little hallway. Okay. Mm. I want to put down the trap. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't know how to do deliver. that. Deliver. I, spiritually, I put a trap. Spiritually, <laughs> I spiritually, spiritually. Nikki puts a trap there, but. In the game, Gumshoe puts a trap there. Whoops, I have the wrong things. There we go. Good, good thinking, Gumshoe. Good thinking. Oh. oh, thank you. That's the first compliment you've given me this whole time. <laughs> All right, and <laughs> he kind of walks off. <laughs> there you go. You have a trap there. That's the interaction. Yep, that's <laughs> just as she walks. Carl, walked, Carl, don't be last, by. Carl. Get over here. <laughs> okay. At, at this point, um, you see uh, an intersection uh, ahead of you uh, uh, for descending slightly, um, and it's soon quite obvious that the uh, the passageway is flooded, uh, flowing. It seems to be flowing out of the passage to the right, and uh, you also see a, see a shimmering blue light down that way. Um, the main passage continues to the left over a small depression in the floor where it's kind of, the water's all pooled up there. Um, and around that, uh, double check this, around that uh, northern bend is definitely just that, that nasty B.O. odor is coming from. So you have B.O. to the north and light to the right. Oh. Mm. Uh, Carl, there is magic there. Oh. I sense, how di- I sense magic. And I point down that direction. I see uh, how deep this water is, and is it, like, flowing? It is flowing. It's flowing from the right to the left. Hard? Mm, not, not overly hard, no. See the bottom? Yeah, it, it's only probably ankle deep for most of you. Yeah, I'm in it already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe knee deep for Gumshoe. Yeah. After you, sir. So, this, um, this smells interesting over here. Kind of worse. Um, <laughs> do we want to go this way or which which way, guys? Actually, Gumshoe. That thing seems interesting. When you go up there to that furthest point that you were at, um, yeah. you would hear like the faintest little like snarling sounds from uh, up that direction. Does it sound like snarling kobolds? It doesn't sound like kobolds to me in my own ears. It, so I'm a- it does not sound like kobolds, do you know? Oh boy. Oh. Well, okay. Um. So, um, stinky hole or this way. Um. Also, noises from the stinky hole. Perhaps a little foreboding. The noisy stinky hole. Um. <laughs> I. This is oh. getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> the chat. What has happened in the chat, you guys? We've we've lost control. Oh of no! The Chat's on its own journey chat. right now. Yeah. <laughs> Chats on frog autopilot over there. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's awesome. Um, let's go. Let's go to the right. First, what do you say? I, I right. agree. Also, can we ask questions before we run off? Like, you know, for future. Oh, good. Good idea. <laughs> to go back that direction. <laughs> <laughs> is it possible for me to set a trap up here in this area so if someone comes from behind us? Yeah, you just want to like I, toss it up on that ledge? Yeah, I do, actually. That's a later problem. Okay. Um, <laughs> Water, they wouldn't see it. Maybe. Yeah, if you want to throw it up on that little ledge, I'll have you, mm-hmm. uh, since you're, you're, you're a short little fella, I'll have yeah, you make a uh, just a, a base um, dexterity check to see if you could Toss it up there and have it land just so. Oh no, how do I just make base rolls again? Uh, let's see. Weird attribute. So we don't want initiative. Uh, let's say reflex. Oh, no, that's a save. Ah, damn. Sorry. Learning. Learning still. Yes, learning. We're learning. Um, well, acrobatics. That works for me. Ah, perfect. Okay. Oops. I didn't mean. Oh, I hope that, okay. That's good. My Oops. finger twitched. Yeah, you you flop it up there. It sets. Uh, I think it's perfectly fine right there. Oh, that's good. That's probably good. All right. Hi, back. Guys, don't let me forget I put a trap up there. <laughs> Guys? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Should we proceed <laughs> quietly? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. After we shouted through these hallways, but yes, let's do that. <laughs> All right, I don't, I guess, do we, do we go into, I'm the meat shield, so do I go into the room? <laughs> Didn't you just figure out what tanking was a fight ago? <laughs> <laughs> I raised my shield the and rogue I- rogue showed you. I go into the room slowly. Okay. So I, uh, I'm actually going to block. Raise your shield for you. Yay! Oh, I am. Oh, yay! Okay. Oh. You have your shield raised. Uh, to cut is stealthing. Oh, oh right. do we need to if we're going quietly still? Uh, yeah, yeah. Do you I'll need have a you guys. Check? If you're all gonna follow suit, you don't have to stealth if you don't want to. Uh, I just noticed to cut doing it. I don't think Bozzy would try. Yeah. And do terribly. Oh no. <laughs> No. Yeah, he's just following orders. Bozzy said stealth, so... I, I, I said quietly, and then I biffed it immediately. He jumps into the water with a massive <laughs> oh, splash. Oh, just no. around in the water. I imagine for just splash, a second. Splash, splash. I imagine Bozzy gums. was looking behind her and, like, walked into a wall. <laughs> Gumshoe scum, like, walking through, complaining about the water uh, oh. and the smell coming from the north. Did you guys feel something touch your leg? I feel like something touched my leg. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am out of the water. <laughs> In here, um, <laughs> see on the far right side of the puddle of water is a strange chamber, uh, crackling with magical energy. Pulsing orbs float in three of the four corners of the room, which I'm going to. Oh, see so you. Go. Um, so to cut, it would be the one right next to you. There's another one down here, and one down this way. Some of you guys won't be able to see that because you're not all the way in the room yet. Um, let's see. The orb in the southwest is made of brown earth and stone, whereas the one in the northeast looks to be made of glass and is filled with a swirling cloud. The orb in the far corner holds a roaring flame. Opposite the orbs are shattered remains and water that flows down the passageway to the northwest, which is where you're walking. Hmm. So, here. Yep. Um, you said shattered remains? Yep, the shattered remains of a fourth orb. Ah. Oh. Seems to be a place dedicated to the four elements. And to cut, as even though you're, you're stealth, as soon as you cross into the room on the uh, the stone there, um, the orb to the southeast cracks, <gasps> cracks again, and shatters run, on I the run, third time. Run, run, run back, run, and I grab, I grab everybody and push them back you see uh a little a little thing hop out of that that orb and it is let me find it here wait that's Aww. not it that's not it's it. a little fire rat 
Yeah, that's so cute. Yeah, I got you right here. You see a little fire rat Ooh. pop out of that orb. Not cute. Not cute. That's cool. That's kind it's of cool. cute. Actually. It's cool as hell. You're Super right, cool. Splishing and splashing. Especially because of the artwork on this like giant, this map. It's a Godzilla lava rat. This yeah. is really cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so, yeah. Um, the, uh, just checking to see what else happens, if anything, in here. Um... I need you guys to roll initiative, actually. There's no moving <laughs> just yet to cut. So while you guys roll initiative, I'm going to... Uh, Sexy rat! Look over this. Sorry. <clears throat> <clears throat> He's the sexy rat. Now you need a sexy fire oh, rat. Man. You need a sexy fire rat. Uh, although none can be as sexy as, as Effie. Uh. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that rat is awesome. Uh, you guys, you guys and your puns. Jesus, I didn't even Jesus. read that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you said it out loud and I was like, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, initiative on perception? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Takat gets stealth because he was actually stealthing on this. Mm -mm. You mean my natural one doesn't count? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Good. Thankfully for you. Uh. Council yes. is not yet active. Yeah, oh, my bad. Yeah. We're sitting here waiting. Same. Come on, dude. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Oh wow! Instant. You guys I are waiting. Rolling. Is that, that's two natural ones in a row for you, Gumshoe. Oh, no. Yeah, but someone did. Someone knock my. Oh no! I thought somebody knocked my dice and it took the higher one. I just get plus six to initiative. Still roll the one. Yep. <laughs> mm hmm. Right. Oh no, I, I seriously felt something touch my leg. Something's in the water, guys. <laughs> She's way too distracted, or he, he's way too distracted by the something that's in the water. Nope, um, nope, I could feel it. It was just other running water. Oh no. <laughs> just other water. <laughs> guys, I'm not sure if it was just more water or... <laughs> this, this guy here... Um, Alright. He, as he jumps out, this little cinder rat, um, you see, uh, like this, this cloud of smoke go up around it. It just stays in his little vicinity there. And, um, he looks like he's about to jump off and run towards you guys. So Carl, again at the top of the order, Carl, what magic is this? Carl. You know, once in a while. Yeah. All right, go ahead, So Carl. Carl's, Carl's looking across the room at this fire rat and looking at his spell set and being like, all I can do is fire. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to uh, what happened to Hydroblast? I have that. <laughs> That's a spell slot. <laughs> That's a spell slot. <laughs> we have two. <laughs> exactly. Um, good heavens. Yeah, there's like nothing I can do. Um, I will walk. The only reason I could see it was because of my familiar, um, to be able to actually see it. And one sec, Carl, before I'll give you one more piece of information that might uh, change your guys's mind on things to do. Um, so the, the little cloud of smoke that's around it is giving it the concealed condition. Um, mm -hmm. Whenever anyone attempts a spell attack roll or a strike against the rat, you first have to roll a flat check, which is just a d20 roll with nothing added. Uh, you need to roll above a five in order to actually uh, have a chance to hit it. Yep. That's before yeah, you ever even roll your attack roll. <laughs> it, sorry, what is that for exactly? Like, why why is that roll happening? I just um, because um, he, he's uh, covered in smoke and he has the concealed condition. Oh, so it's just basically to see if you can see him through the smoke. Yeah, yeah, got it. Okay. Um, Carl will pull out his. Sling. Okay. Go in analog. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Place a rock in it. The child's toy from the old times. And try to attempt to hit it. I will roll my flat d20 check. Alright, so you can see him enough to uh, make a strike at him. And uh, critical miss. Oof. Are we doing anything with the critical miss? No, or? no, no, okay. no fumbles. 
technically I can do that again. Yeah, go ahead, Carl. Why not? Oh, well, that's even better. Good job. Even worse. You see, we're having a real hard time seeing this rat through all the smoke. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. He immediately grabs his side again. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Was it the same side? Get you? <laughs> no, it's just he's grabbing his wound. <laughs> Carl, are you okay? It's, what hurts? Well, Tell me where it hurts. It's, I think I My ripped the stitching. <laughs> My stitching, and I will stay there because I can't. Yeah, you, you, you will stay there because you can't go anywhere. Um, I can't see anything, right? Because the the that pillar is in the way. Uh, no. I imagine is, I can't see it. That is uh, smaller down. So if you can see over here, like your token can see it, oh. there's nothing in. Yeah, yeah. Side. Okay, great, oh, great, good. great. I think also the detect magic was confusing me a second because <laughs> okay. I was like, "There's no blue there. I can't see it. Anything I can see is blue." Uh, okay, so no, no, no. You're fine. You can keep it there. <laughs> no, see, he doesn't need it up the whole time. He just keeps doing it. Yeah, yeah. I know. I, know. <laughs> I was just making sure. Okay. Uh, all good. Carl, <laughs> here's a new one. Oh, that's and interesting. Rev- Carl died in mid combat and it was nobody's turn <laughs> Some, <laughs> somehow just died um okay hold on uh that distracted me a little bit she's gonna run out so that's one action for her movement um and then she has very low low hope in this working but she's going to speak out in her rat tongue language which is yusoki i so- guess yeah. i don't know yusoki okay that um, so she's just going to step out and, and look at the rat. This is the first time she's really seeing it because when she was back there and you guys were interacting, mm-hmm. uh, she couldn't see anything. So she kind of like runs out and sees the rat and is like, oh, uh, let me try this. Hello, friends! We're not good enemies! Don't set my friends on fire! I mean, I don't know if we're friends yet. Don't set anyone on fire! How about that? Hello! <laughs> She's just, that, she's just trying to see if it reacts. I love that Bozzy, uh is not yet sure if these are, in fact, friends. <laughs> uh, looking real quick, I want to say it's not going to speak anything. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite sure it's not going to work. Yeah, she's yeah, going to give it a shot. It, it doesn't work. Um, it's just uh, okay. Looks like it's still in the middle of uh, getting prepared to charge at you guys. Okay, because uh, she did kind of like speak and then wait to hear a response. Would mm-hmm. that take any of her actions or? No, no that's all right. Uh, okay, okay. I just wanted to make sure um, she uh, I think she kind of still feels a little bad. We, we've been out here killing a bunch of rat folk. And this is the fourth one they've encountered. Uh, not rat folk, but rat, rat things. She's going to try and daze it. Um, is all my blathering is coming to and then uh, see how that goes. And I use all my movement to get out there and daze too. So after this, I am done. Okay. Nope, that is a fail. It's a fail. Oh, days. It takes the four damage. It's, uh, it's not days, sadly. The days happens on a critical fail, yeah. so... Okay. Yeah. Or stunned, stunned. Season me stunned. Yeah, I'm just... Uh, I'm hoping, hoping one time. It's anyway. still uh, guaranteed damage, so it's not, not terrible. And a cantrip. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It is the rat's turn. A little cinder rat. Uh, let's see. He has a speed rat. Oh, oh, wow. It has okay. a fireball. No, it, it has a fireball? It does? <laughs> yes, Don't please. tell him that. <laughs> we're all, <laughs> we're all, all right. standing in stinky water, right? The water's not so wet. So we get an advantage it? or something? Oh my god, it's just gonna... <laughs> so it is going to run up here to... to cut. Uh, I was much more successful in my stealth than everyone else. You know what? Just throwing that out there. <laughs> I did fail critically. <laughs> I will. Mm-hmm. Like the, the rat just reversed course real fast. Uh, it yep. is going to make. Uh, let's see. Sorry. You're right. Not a problem, man. Uh, I wasn't apologizing to you. Oh, well, fine. <laughs> right. He's apologizing I will to Carl. Absolutely remember this. <laughs> Carl had the second best stealth check. Thank you very much. <laughs> Carl's cat is not being stealthy. 
but it is oh. fine. <gasps> All right. Uh, Rat, Can't where kill is it. your perception? Can't. All right, right. Where? Where is it? Where is it? You just not perceive anything. Is that what it is? That's initiative. Rat doesn't have eyes. It's just fire. And fire can't see. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> So, this fire can see everything. Just doing the math. <laughs> Just do- <laughs> <laughs> All right. I apologize, guy. No, uh, what is his 17 at the moment. Let's roll on that. Okay. Uh, he sees you to cut. <laughs> You're welcome. It was worth a shot. All right. Uh, I got to change his initiative back. There you go. All right. All that just to... Just to do the same thing. Yeehaw. All right. <laughs> Rat runs up to you to cut. Um, you are now uh, inside this. This little thing's like uh, choking uh, fumes here that are emanating out from it. Um, let's see. Anyone next to the rat must roll a fortitude save against DC of 22. Um I think that is on your turn, I believe. If there were cameras on, you would watch all of the players' eyes double in size. (laughs) (laughs) Yep. Uh, (laughs) The DC number came out and we were all like... (laughs) Well, it sounds scary at first because we're all used to 5e, but the bonuses Mm -hmm. here are a lot bigger, so... Yeah, my best bonus myself is a plus 5. Yeah. Still have to roll a 17, but I'm from my report, it'd be an 18. <laughs> All right. So it is, that's one move. Uh, it is going to, it's already targeted to cut. It's going to attack to cut. That's what we like. Oh. Plus 10. Oh, oh, no. Misses to cut. Sad. Mm. That panda. <clears throat> I uh, think this is an optional boss fight. And then. I was worried when, I was worried when the kobolds had plus nine, okay? Yep. 19 nope. to hit to cut and the, the multi attack penalty 12 fire damage to cut Whoa! that, uh, that comes off my shield yes <laughs> the shield that you did you have raised Mm-mm. did have it raised yeah okay uh, yeah that one would come off your shield thankfully shield has four hit points remaining otherwise we'd be looking at uh, singed kitty right now no oh. would Look. All right. Oh God! I just looked at your total HP. Oof. Don't say that out loud. <laughs> um. Yeah. And now you are inside the cloud of smoke that's surrounding the rat. Uh, you gain the concealed condition as well. Did Does he not have to get through the concealed condition to hit me? Nope. Concealed in the cloud? That's no, cool. it's his cloud. It is his cloud. Cinder sight. He, he is cloud. <laughs> he is. Check it. Uh, let's see, you gain the concealed. He's got a condition. buster sword on his back. Uh, and then, yeah, when you begin your turn within five feet of it, you must uh, do the, the fortitude save. All right. That is it for the rat. It is now your turn. So now we need the fortitude save from you. Uh, 18? No. Uh, you take a minus one status penalty to all checks and DCs for this round. Cool. Oh. Checks <clears throat> and DCs. Okay. Um, oh. I, uh, to, uh, something that I really hope no one was expecting. I didn't mean to do that. I'm going to <laughs> take my shield. I'm going to lean down. And I'm going to splash as much water from this space right here as I can into this space here. So I'm not targeting the rat directly. I just want to get as much water into that space as possible. And I'm willing to use up to two actions to, to do it. Okay. Um, just take one. So make a... a just make a, an acrobatics check to, to try to splash some water uh, from the ground over to this rat. So to cut bends down as he's got his, his shield raised up in front of him uh, to block the rat and just splashes some water in. <laughs> uh, 
the water how that works. The water goes over and, and splashes into the rat's face, and it seems like it does nothing except make the rat turn and just glare daggers at you. I'll do it again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think that's a solid decision. I support this. <laughs> ah, wait, wait, wait. What is a hero point? No, uh, wait, wait. You're good. I, I'm gonna what? tell you just don't don't bother spending the hero point on this. It's not gonna You're do well. anything. Okay. In that case, I will raise my shield with my. Um, I miss because you have to re up the raised shields. Right. Okay? Yeah. The water does okay. nothing. No. <clears throat> All right. Um, my my shield that is. Very nearly gone. Um, you know what? The yeah. shield is yeah. saving your ass. <laughs> yeah, well, it's got four hit points left, so I would be dead already. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, um, yeah, you guys, uh, help. Please. <laughs> help. Hey, hey, to cut. Type help into chat and hit enter. Uh oh. Which chat? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it pops up over your head. Yep. That's amazing. That's, I think what cracked me about it is it's so little, so it's just like <laughs> yep. just a soft little Amazing. The meekness of it. Alright. Mm-hmm. So that is uh to cut you you only used your two and then you're raising the shield for the third one, right? Correct, yeah. Okay. Gumshoe. All right. Gumshoe's got you. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to... Uh, I need shirts <laughs> made of that, Gumshoe. Gumshoe's <laughs> Run got forward. you. Uh, and, okay, so... This is the DM's call. I did drop my sword in the other room, and I did not specify that I picked it up. Not. We can... You're I right. did not yet. Uh, am I all right? I was like, we could totally go with ADHD Gumshoe, and he's forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> and then that would be fine with that. Lost my plus one sword. <laughs> <laughs> in like no. 20 minutes. You've got no. it. <laughs> All right. Okay, cool. Uh, it was yeah. magic. I forgot. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was magic. Yeah, it was. <laughs> um, yeah, I, he'll draw his uh, short sword. Okay. And strike. Yep. Make sure you have the rat targeted. Or actually. Oh, I didn't. Uh, that's all right. So we'll okay. keep your 23. Go ahead and roll uh, just a regular D20. So down in the bottom right corner of the screen. Right. Right. Yep. And see if it gets over five, so I can see if I actually see him. No, five, no. five or higher. So you're good. Oh yes. yes. All right. So hey. roll damage on the rest. Huzzah. Okay. Woo. That's a solid three. Okay. Solid three damage into the rat. Uh, you also get concealed. Oof. And the start of your next turn, um, you will have to make that fortitude save as well. Got it. All right. So you moved, you drew, you poked, and that is that's your three actions. Save yourself to cut. I've got this. Carl. <laughs> did, you, did you just go like, huh? Did you? <laughs> Maybe. Wait. I do. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, okay. I thought I'd miss something. Uh, Carl, you, you're good. You <clears throat> The cut, duck, and Carl's going to lift his hands up, and water's gonna flow up from below me, and we're gonna hydraulic push. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay. Carl the Slayer. <laughs> Carl the Slayer. We'll, we'll see if it's a critical hit like last. <laughs> so roll your flat check first. Yeah, that's true. Gosh darn it. All right. <laughs> wow. Too close. Too close. <laughs> and then. All right. Here it goes. No. Hero point. Okay. Hero point. Hero yeah. point. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. That's the time to use it for sure. Uh huh. Okay. Yes. Point. Okay. All right. Yeah. That that one Ooh. hits. Not a crit though. Not a crit. I'm disappointed. Eleven. All right. And it gets knocked back five feet. Okay. Nice. 
it perfect. I was over here and bumps against. Let's see. It gets sucked into the air elemental plane. <laughs> bumps into it, freezes, shatters. Uh, uh yeah, it smashes against feet. the pedestal that the swirling cloud orb is in, but it doesn't knock the cloud off. All right. Is that a two action spell, Carl? Yes. Um, Carl is going to stay where he is. Um, I will cast. Where is my. Why is my spells not up right now? My spells disappeared. Why, why did my spells disappear? I don't know. They're not in my little bar up there right now. I will cast shield on myself. Okay. Carl is just loaded with effects. <laughs> oh. All, right. All right. And that's his turn. All right. Run! Bozzy. Uh, seeing the fucking rat bite the shit out of Zagun. <laughs> 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 and then, like, kind of set him on fire, maybe with it? I don't know. Um, she's going to uh, use a spell she hasn't had a chance to use yet. Um, so she's going to kind of wave her staff and, and point it in his direction, and, like, a little bit of her sort of purplish energy will kind of extend towards him. Uh, she's going to cast Life Link on you. Um, so you initially recover 1d4. Oh, you get three points. Oh, yeah, what's up? I'm, 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 it's not actually injured. Yeah, he... Oh, it's your shield. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. I forgot. No, yeah. you're right. You're right. Okay. Did you get take any shield. damage? Nope. You didn't take not any yet. damage. It was literally it's all of your shield. Okay. Yeah. I thought some of it was still hitting you. That's all good. Don't worry. All right. Um, then that actually sh- uh, frees her up to shield herself. And then she's going to forbidding ward on, um, I don't know. Is the kid going to stay there? Are you running in or are you just going to run back? I guess you can't tell from the body language, but <laughs> yeah, yeah for, do you find your, yourself from your vantage point, Bozzy? Uh, he mm-hmm. snuck in with a shield raise, then reached out and splashed mm-hmm. some water on his rat. <laughs> so. Yes, that's exactly. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, are you staying there? Like, what's happening? Uh, she will use uh, forbidding ward on um, uh, Gumshoe. I almost said my own name. <laughs> 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 would have been awesome. Life loop. Nice. Uh, yeah, and then she will uh, just double checking. Yeah, she'll shield herself, which I think actually never really left her. But yeah, shield, shield. <laughs> uh, yeah, so she shields herself, and then she is using forbidding uh, ward on Gumshoe. So hopefully you can use that, and that's the end of her turn because that's all three actions. Okay. Uh, so dink. They come off there, hopefully. Okay, yeah, cool. Uh, I'm getting rid of the consume condition on you two as the rat is moved further back. Mm-hmm. All right, it is his turn. I mean, it's gonna come right back. I should have paid attention. In <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Um, Oops. Okay. One action to move. Uh, looks right at to cut and tries to take a big old chomp out of him again. Um, still, yeah, he's still targeted. All right. Goes for the bite. Uh, 27. Oof. Damn. You are rolling so high. He's tonight. out to kill us. I, okay. yeah. See, when I said that, I was seeing into the future that you were going to bite she the shit out of me. an oracle. Then. And. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. 11 damage. All right. I can Shield myself. is. Toast? Destroyed. Destroyed. All right. So, how much carryover damage is there? Seven. Seven. All right. Not too bad. <laughs> You've got it all wrong. That's not rough. You're killing. I had done it. I, <laughs> oh, I got you. Yeah, I, I, I got ten. I'm good. No. Nope. Oh my god! Stop it. <laughs> Do it yourself. Uh, you also <laughs> have. <laughs> You also have persistent fire damage now that you've actually taken damage. Uh, you are, uh, you have little flames dancing on you that are going to deal 1d4 uh, fire damage at the end of your turn. Um, you can attempt a flat check uh, to see if the fire goes out uh, if, at a 15 or higher. 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. You can also use an action to pad out the flames. Um, that would also takes a flat check. You would take the damage, but uh, the flames would be put out. All right, there you go. All right, so that was one bite from the cinder. Right, so move one bite and go for another. Lord, good luck, have fun. Wait, no, that's the wrong one. Multi attack penalty. That's not how that sentence goes. <laughs> oh, okay. you yes. lucky bastard. Okay. Yes. Finally. <clears throat> is this right a mini boss? Everything's fine. He's a so weak we... elite, is what it's called on here. <laughs> what the? So, yeah, he's a, he's a mini boss. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, let's find That's out right. if, if he has uh, opportunity attacks. Why don't we? Yeah. I'm going to use an action to, uh, to move. And. Uh, no. No, no attack. Uh, like, ooh. Um, ooh. And uh, as part of my move, I'm going to go prone in the water and roll around. There you go. That's another option. <laughs> the flames go up. <laughs> this nasty ass water. Uh, yep. <clears throat> uh, get, get some of that nasty stagnant cave water in your wounds. See how that does. Um, that's no, two actions. It's better than being on fire. This is true. Yes. Um, absolutely. Okay. That is two actions. Very good. Um, well, then. Um, I've only moved five feet, so you can crawl. So I just continue my move. So uh, remember, though, in Pathfinder, you can't yeah. pick up the rest of your movement. So this would be right, right. this would be your third action if you move again. Oh, Arnold. <laughs> So it's an action to st- it's a whole action to stand up. Mm-hmm. And it's um it's rough. Oh. It's rough. All right, I stand up and I click the end of my turn button. Okay. Gumshoe. I know my job. <laughs> I, <laughs> <this is> my <laughs> job. <laughs> statement. Yeah. So wait, Nikki, is the the follow up to that? But I don't want to do it. <laughs> the ice orb looks so intriguing, but the rat did come out of the fire orb. I'm like, well, if I touch the ice orb, will an ice rat come out and fight the fight the fire rat? <laughs> so we have uh, to clarify: oh. we have earth, fire, and air, essentially. Oh, it's air. Yeah, air and fire is a bad idea. I've seen backdraft. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Throwback reference. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Step between. I'm gonna use an action to do this. I feel like it's worth it. Step between okay. my party and the rat, uh, and I will uh, strike it with my sword. I'm weeping a single tear. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. Nice. All right. And then roll damage. Oh, and that's uh, real good. And then I'm gonna raise my shield after this. Okay. And become a wall of frog between me. And between <laughs> My friends in this room. A wall frog. of frog. So, yeah. uh, I think you love still it. have your shield raised. Yeah. I think. Okay. Uh, so, we're going to take a quick break right here and we'll pick back up right at the top of the round because uh, it's looking like this, this combat might go a little bit longer. So, <laughs> yeah. So, what do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just did one damage. It's not dead yet. <laughs> you scratched one little oh, thingy man. on this rat. Scared him. All right. So, yeah, guys, uh, give us about 10 minutes. Uh, we're going to take a quick bathroom break, get some get some food, grab a drink, and uh, we'll be right back. Chat, chat, thank you for all the ridiculousness. Um, I, yes, I have not been able to keep off. up with it. There is way too many puns there, but yeah. mm-hmm. I promise I will go back through and read it. All right. All right. We will be <laughs> right back. Bye. Bye. Talk to you soon. Hey everybody, we're back. Hi. By the DM, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Thanks and for, for the raid. raid. And for the raid, yep. Brain, brain is only half functioning. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Monday. Yeah, uh, it's it's the DM brain. Half the brain is like completely focused on the the DM side of things, and the other half is trying to deal with everything else, and it's just <laughs> melting out my nose. All right. So, Raiders, uh, 
you walked in to uh, what turned into a little mini boss fight here. This this friendly fella here. You know what? I'll just I'll throw up the uh, the art for him real fast so you guys can see. He's a, he's a neat little guy. It's a cinder rat. And the players are a boy. having having a time with him right now. Um, but yeah, they are uh, currently searching what was supposed to be the basement, but has turned into a whole like little cavern crawl here. Uh, looking for the reasons why fish are going missing beneath a, uh, uh, or yeah, beneath the fishery in Otari. Um, they've come across all sorts of things, and this Cinderat is just the most recent one. So yeah, we're gonna jump right back into this with uh, Carl. Carl, the injured casual, is uh, it is your turn. Injured casual. The injured ca- the casually injured. Okay, look. <laughs> Injured casual. Oh, oh man. Unfortunately, once again, I mostly just have fire spells. Um, if and I gave you guys my hydraulic push. Yep. Uh, Ibelin is an elemental rat. It's a fire rat. All right. It's a rat. So first things first, I'll see if I can even see it. Nice. Okay, I can see it. We're trying the sling again. We'll see if it works as just as effectively as last time. No, it'll be way more effective. <laughs> nope. Oh. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> but we're going the full Monty here. <laughs> you want it again? <laughs> nope. All right. The Aww. Carl's learning that he's not very good at slings. Oh, yeah, if anybody's ever had an uh, uh, injury to their abdomen... Uh, yeah, so, you know, a, just on the off chance that anyone's ever had a spear poking all the way through them, uh, you know, you're trying to uh, raise a hand up and fire a sling off. Uh, not doing so great. So there's just rocks flying through the sky right now. Mm-hmm. And um, we'll just keep shield up. OK. It's on there. Do you have let's see. Shield. Can't cast it again for ten minutes. No. Is this just a? Uh... In which case, I guess I don't do anything. Okay. No shield for you. Uh, Bozzy. It is your turn. Bozzy, it's me, Okay. Um. I'm trying to debate whether she wants to use uh, one of her actual spell slots. She is going to do what she tried to do last uh, time. I almost said weak. Nope. Uh, <laughs> and to try the life link on um, to cut because I kind of want to just get that out there because it's cool and it doesn't take a spell slot because of what it is. Um, so we're going to push that button and uh, dink. <laughs> Dink indeed. <laughs> Dink is the word uh, appropriate for this. Um, so uh, we are now uh, tethered together for that. And that takes one action. And with her other two actions, can she see the rat? I mean, she can kind of, according to the map, she can kind of see it. So I'm just going to assume yeah. that that's all right. Yep. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, you can see it. Um, great. Because then I will use. Uh, why did my spells thing disappear? It happened to me okay. too, one of the times. Yeah, and then it came back, and like, I think I clicked something for it, but I guess I did it. Uh, he's, she's just gonna try and daze with her other four. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna click the cast button through my, because my skills, my spell isn't showing up. Four points of damage. Okay. And a basic will save. She's still going for the, uh, the stun. I'm going for the she stun. Ah. Uh, just <laughs> no. a regular fail. All right. <laughs> it's like one day. Uh, but yeah, so we are linked and that's my other two. And that's the end of my turn. OK, rat takes its four damage. Uh, you can see the the smoke around it is starting to uh, dissipate out a little bit. It's looking like it's taking a fair amount of damage. Um, mm-hmm. uh, gumshoe, the wall of frog, as you put it. Uh, this rat looks menacing at you. Um, it mm. juts forward and goes to bite you. I can click the right things. There we go. Eat shield, Ooh. rat. Oof, yeah. 
Thank okay. goodness. Oh. Your rat takes, uh, or your rat, your shield takes <laughs> 27 <laughs> damage. Damage? That's no. the hit, isn't no, it? That's the hit. My, Please wow, tell yes. me that. I told you my brain. And the shield shatters and you die. Yes. yes. <laughs> you just erupt Your in shield, shield and frost. I bet. Okay. I told you my brain is much. Well, that's not much better. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. 12 fire damage. Look, 12 is a lot better than 27, but it's not good. <laughs> Do I hit the block button? I think so. I, I hit the block button. I'm assuming that takes. Yeah, go ahead and hit that. Oh, I did. And it's highlighted. Um, and it doesn't seem to be doing anything. And then hit damage if it's highlighted. Oh, maybe that's the problem. Yeah, OK, block and then damage. Uh, nope, it says I've not raised work. my shield. OK, we're going to give you your uh, going to give you your 12 HP back. I thought my shield was raised. Uh, it was. And it mm. is. I'm not sure why. All right, let's see. Your shield has 20 HP, and it just took 12. Mm. Oh, nice. I definitely uh, corrected the, the wrong thing. There we go. It has eight left. There we go. And you can see flames dance across the shield now. <laughs> Oof. All right, that was the first attack. It hasn't had to move, so it's going to get a second attack. You are also concealed now, so the start of your mm -hmm. next turn, you'll have to deal with that. Um, it's going to make another strike against you, this time only plus five instead of plus ten. Oh, no. Oh! Oh, no. What? <gasps> Bye, oh, shield. my God. Goodbye, shield. Oh! Goodbye, life! <laughs> Goodbye. Right. Have eight more points left? Oh, oh guys. God. We should have went down the stinky hole. <laughs> <laughs> Gumshoe's last words. All right. Your shield no, is last broken. Words. Yeah. Uh, so you take 16 fire damage. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, you only have you only have 13 health, Gumshoe. I know. <laughs> Why do you only have 13? God, jeez. <laughs> Level one. I got it. I got attacked by a kobold. I slapped a kobold. <gasps> it attacks me. <laughs> it attacks me. God dang. You know what? I should probably... Uh, you had 13. Change that to 13. Uh, we're just going to click the damage button because I think it should automate everything. No? Did not. Gain. Uh-uh. <laughs> This is oh. Gumshoe's first time tanking, and he's down <laughs> immediately. <laughs> the first I feel time like... Carl hasn't been in the lead. <laughs> <laughs> Carl's taken, or Gumshoe's taken a nap. <laughs> oh boy! Yeah, and, uh, yeah it's not Carl this time. It's not. All right, you Gumshoe make goes. Me waste down. another high level spell. <laughs> <laughs> this rat seeing the. The, the target go down just starts chittering at you uh, to cut and making angry noises um, and it just kind of runs along the edge here and that's mm -hmm. its turn uh, to cut mm. <clears throat> um, is he on fire um, I'm sure Gumshoe is on fire, yes. The flames <laughs> dancing no! across his body. <laughs> oh, that means he'll take damage every Did turn. Did I die in water? I died right next Jeez. to water, didn't I? Just, <laughs> just roll his limp body into the water. <laughs> I can see Takut just casually pulling him into the water. Yeah. Um, uh, can I... Um, I do that as part of my, my, my move when I spin an action to, 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 to move. I... Can. Yeah, I'd say you just oh, drag him you back, drag him back a, a square into the water. As I step forward uh, <laughs> to, 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 to go after this thing, um, <laughs> the skin's looking a little dry, sir. Hmm. <laughs> he croaked. Uh, and then oh. Oh, okay. I'm gonna attack it. Okay. Attack it. 
Uh, yep. Uh, how about... Um... Uh, uh, 15? That looked uh, like a 20 on the die to anyone else? No. Okay. No. It's like it almost it, it got rolled the over the 20. It was close. Mm. Um, okay. That one misses. Right. Yeah. Um... <laughs> What do you do? Uh, that, try again. Going full uh, violence. Oh. That one misses. Uh, you have hero points. <clears throat> yeah, I'll, I'll. I should have done that on the first one. Uh, <laughs> if you spend yeah. a hero point right now, we'll say that that was your reroll. Still fails, but uh, if you attack again, it will still it... be the the middle or the the very first multiple attack penalty instead of the second one. But would have plus seven changed that? So a 16 would have hit? Plus seven. Because he was rolling with a plus two this time. Because he used the second one. Uh, plus seven would have been 18, and that would have hit, yeah. So go ahead and spend your hero point if that's what you want to do. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah. Uh, uh, click to make it go away. All right. Um. And that is for seven damage. Okay. Then I'll use my final action, the minus five deck. To do what? what? Oh, you're making another attack. All right, that one's not going to hit. You're just standing over Gumshoe's uh, <laughs> flaming corpse. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I should be over here. Oh, oh, I missed. Then, uh, let's see one. Was my my question was can I as part of my my move can I sort of come back into the water? <laughs> yeah, you just leave the frog in the water. <laughs> uh, the flames yeah, go out on Gumshoe. Uh, Gumshoe's uh-huh. just floating, <laughs> face down. <laughs> <laughs> Gumshoe, it is your turn. Uh, I have to look up dying fast. Yeah, how do how do I die? How do I <laughs> Hang on, I'll tell you how to Sorry, die. Sorry, I need, need to quickly look up dying, yep. not dying mm-hmm. fast. <laughs> if you are dying, you must attempt a recovery check at the start of your turn each round to determine whether you are getting better or worse. Come I'm on. reading just because of the dying thing came up. I just masked over it. I'm reading. Yeah, it's right there. Up there. Yeah, you're dying. So... Yeah, uh, there should be a recovery roll at the start of your turn. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see if we can find the recovery roll. Just as a recovery check, yeah. Let's see. Steve's perception. I could. So also, I could use a hero point. (gasps) There's race shield. If you you go the hero point route, it takes all of your remaining hero points, but you need to have at least one. I have three, Mm -hmm. which is. I'm. I'm gonna ride this out, see what happens. If it gets worse, <laughs> then maybe next time around, okay, you know. That's fair. I only have two spell slots. Used. I'm just kidding. No, I got you. You're good. Uh, oh, uh, open your character sheet. Right oh. underneath your temp HP in the top left corner, there's a die for recovery check. There mm-hmm. it is. Oh boy. How in the holy go. hell? It's just a die. How would you know? I okay. was just hovering over everything, trying to find it. Oh my god! <laughs> I saw it and I was like, I don't know what that is. Okay, here we go. That's not good. Oh, <laughs> bok bok. <laughs> That's not good. I feel like, you know, Gumshoe is having like splashes of like memories right now. Like when he was, mm-hmm. you know, standing by the stone ring pond. And when was, he was a tadpole. When he was a little tadpole. And then, you know, he stopped by Blades for Glades, getting his first <laughs> dagger when he was a tiny little tadpole, oh. learning how to wield it. Okay, that's my turn. You said splashes Amazing. of memories, huh? Yeah, I did. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, Carl. Your froggy friend is okay. lying dead in the water. I'm shoes, yeah, in the water. Not, not much I can do there. Um, eh. Oh, well. Maximum casual. <laughs> I, I, I'm not a healer. <laughs> Shrugs, noncommittal. Someone else will get him. I... Take Gumshoe, pull him more close to me, <laughs> and feed him my healing potion. Oh, 
It's because I gave you one earlier, isn't it? Gumshoe just glides across the water. <laughs> it's just floating. It's down still. Yep. <laughs> so. Uh, take so, that. Yeah. Uh, Gumshoe, you can click on the use. Oh. I think. Oh, certainly I'm clicking. Okay, I can't do it. I Carl has to. Uh, I promise I'm clicking. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the minister of potions Carl is someone up. face down. I pulled him in. <laughs> no. <laughs> Lift it up. Lift it up. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, Gumshoe, you are alive. <sighs> Oops, I'm clicking on the wrong screen again. There we go. All right, uh, you lose dying one. There we go. What? You are pro. You're okay. You're okay. It's all going to be okay. Carl, is that you? <laughs> yes. Yeah. And then I will... I can't do anything. Um, since I can't cast shield. I will... pull Gumshoe all the way up next to um what, la, 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 la. here or yeah up there here? next to bossy no up mm. straight up okay yeah perfect just, just kind of I'm gonna just the wall. pushing gumshoe through the water with my staff gentle 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 <laughs> <laughs> imagine gumshoe's just like just soaking up all this oh, be careful i'm injured <laughs> no <laughs> that'll be sure. lines Many lines from the Princess Bride. Me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bozzy. All right, you've just uh, been delivered thanks. an unconscious <laughs> frog. I mean, isn't he conscious now? Because well, he's, I mean, he's yeah, she is. Okay, <laughs> okay, good. I'm just making sure, you know, because I was like, if not, then I, that changes my plans quite a bit. Um, but I think as um, Gumshoe is kind of like tossed next to her. She's just gonna be like, well, thanks for doing my job for me. Uh, and then the rat you said is not looking great, right? Uh, it is. Or like, it, it's not. It's definitely healthy. injured. Yeah. Right, right, exactly. Okay. Um, she is going to try to do some damage, and my spells isn't showing up again. Fuck me. Okay. Uh, we will start with a uh, telekinetic projectile. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna Ooh, do. Uh, I'm assuming there's there's any rocks or anything I could chuck that that, that are. There's an empty or potion no. bottle. There's an e yes, that's <laughs> poetic. I like it. Let's go for it. <laughs> uh, let's now, see. Does it do bludgeoning to... or piercing damage? <laughs> uh, it I imagine heal? bludgeoning, right? Does it accidentally heal? Yes. <laughs> Just oh injects my God. a few drops of healing potion. Yeah, whatever no, no, drops are left. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Yeah. I'm just going to assume it's bludgeoning and I'm going to roll the to attack to hit. 17 oh, will miss by one. Hmm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, you also forgot to have you do the, the flat check. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's true. Well, oh, can that's, that be from a flat check? Or can I roll again? You know what? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that's, <laughs> it was a, it was a 10, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. On my channel, we call that cheese. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I <laughs> forgot to have you do that. So that's, that's No, fine. that's true. I, I, yeah, super forgot. There we Ooh. go. 30 yeah. Points. That hits. All right. Cheese, baby cheese. <laughs> okay, six points of damage. All right. For that. Just smack this rat in the head with a potion bottle. It's a, <laughs> a shattering sound in front of you to cut. Um, the rat kind of recoils back. It makes a bunch of angry, chittering noises. You see the flames fan out from it a little more. Um, it, it's still not as... Uh, the smoke and the flames still not as intense as they were when it first came out at you, though. All right. Well, that's... That's a good start. Um, and then with um, Gumshoe right in front of her, she's going to uh, lean over and uh, <laughs> kind of just like tap his knee. Be like, hey, get back up uh, and okay. use her one point uh, heal, her one action heal, okay, uh, which is touch. So dink. 
I'm not healing. The, I still have the rat targeted, but that's not who I'm healing. Oh, that's right. Uh, four <laughs> points <laughs> to Gumshoe. Uh, and that's the end of my turn. Those are all my action points. Okay. Oh, it is the rat's turn again. Um, right, it's just mm-hmm. looking at you to cut. It is hungry. It's angry. Uh, you disturbed it, and it's going to bite you. It's going to try. It's going to bite you. <laughs> you, bit you. <laughs> you are bitten. Oh, my gosh. Rats, the natural enemy Man. of cats. Oh, my Ooh. God. Seriously. You... Well, more fire damage. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, you are. Li- okay. You are life linked. So um, the first round, uh, the first time, the first time each round that the target takes damage, reduce the damage by three. So you take nine damage. Yep. <laughs> Uh, and I also lose three points of damage from from taking that from you. Uh, oh wow! Any blah, blah 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 blah. Yeah. Okay. So I take that three, but you take nine. I appreciate that. Yeah, he does. A lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had a feeling uh, you'd get your. That was the first. Took attack. a swoop. <laughs> sure. Sure. That's the, that's the thing. Sure. Second attack. Oh. <sighs> Good night, sweetheart. Yes! yes it's Five. Time to one. Go. Is that enough? Mm. How much you got? I have two. She oh, takes no. three. That puts me at throw. No, it only works the, no, the first time. In the first attack. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. it only works the first attack. Either way. Okay, it's five. Uh, it's zero either way. I, I, I go, go and God take a nap. Yeah. Nope. This rat is dropping fools left and right. Mm-hmm. It's just out here handing out naps. <laughs> All right. Uh, so again, th- the rat drops somebody and it, it takes off like running around. Um, it, it just stops. That's it. Um, to cut. Need you to make the uh, recovery save. Oh, that is one fail. These are terrible. Okay. Yes, it is. Welcome Don't to you. my world. <laughs> <laughs> the, oh. two, the two murderers are getting it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna go back. Um, to cut, you can use your hero points if you want to stand back up, or you can re-roll your uh, recovery. Oh. Oh. That, oh. Yeah. I only have one. You only have one. Oh. This is why you're saving yeah. it. Yeah. Then you can. Yeah. You just got one right now. I was waiting for this moment. Yes. Yes. Use that. Okay. So you're coming out of dying one using your hero point. Nope. And then immediately got a new one. And then you have another one. Yes. Yes. Nice. Yes. Nice. Thank you. (laughs) So you can be (laughs) very happy. Dead again. So that you can be dead again. (laughs) So you can be dead again. (laughs) No. No. That's not what we're going for. Okay, so he is stabilized. Um, let's see. He's another one. Um, I do have to find... Actually, uh, we'll move it on to Gumshoe while I look at something else here. So, Gumshoe, you let me know what you would like to do. Um, so I have to stand up in order to get out of that prone. Does that, that uses how much movement? One action? One action. Stand up. Yep. I'm gonna do that for sure. Uh, <laughs> I wish I could rage like a barbarian. That would be amazing right now. <laughs> <laughs> you almost went barbarian too, didn't you? I almost did. Yeah, it was pretty close. Um, if this rat doesn't die, I guess I can. I can draw my bow. Do I have to sheath my sword? I'm going to drop my sword in the water. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, God, I don't know where that went. Oh, no, I can pick it up. I see. OK, uh, draw and then. How did that work? Uh, looks like you. Yeah, you, you have your crossbow drawn. Yeah. Do I need to hold it with two hands? It says one. Uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> actually, I don't actually know. Draw. Oh, I think I do. Oh, I do need to hold it with two hands. Change grip to one hand? 
Oh yeah. Critical you can't role fire it. King. Pretty tough boss. This was a dragon though. <laughs> yeah. Fire. So I guess I'll drop both my shield and my sword. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I will pull up my crossbow. And from where I'm standing, uh, I'm gonna shoot this rat, please. Okay. Over Let's to go. God's corpse. Nice. Yeah. Ah. Good roll, good roll. All right. Oh, I have to roll to see if I can see it. Oh, yeah. Uh, so we'll, t- we'll take that roll. You can see it with uh, seven. Oh, with the cheese rules. <laughs> I can, I can, it's a, okay. DM says, I'm going for it. Ah, it's a classic three oh, no, no. damage. I was saying oh. that I'll, I'll take your two hit roll as oh. whether or not you can see it. Okay, so hold the on. 17, you can see it. Okay, got it. Okay, well then I'm going to attack. This is the, this is the attack, guys. This one's the attack. Right yes, here. this is the attack. Everybody's all straightened up. Good. Especially me. Okay. Mm, that one misses. That is not the attack. Okay, I'm going <laughs> to use a hero point. Okay. I have three of them. Technically, I didn't mark the third one. And I'm going to roll again. Come on. Oh, oh, that was my sword. Oh. <laughs> Son of a <laughs> that was an unarmed shark. It's the <laughs> same uh, it's an modifier. Strength. Yeah, it's the same modifier. It okay. works. That one misses. No. <laughs> okay. Damn. Stan that's it. That's shoots. all I got. Yep. Stance shoots, and that's it. Okay. That's all I got. And to cut, you should not have. Oh, yeah. All right. You do not. I was looking to see what happens when you spend the hero points to stand up. You lose the dying condition entirely. You stabilize with zero hit points. Uh, you do not gain the wounded condition or increase its value from losing the dying condition in this way. Um, yeah. You're good. Hey. All right. Oh, so it's like they're stabilized. It's it's not that like they're up again. It's just that no more. Okay. Yep. He, he is stabilized oh, at zero HP and gotcha. does not get the wounded condition. But he's mm-hmm. not up. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Uh, so that was Gumshoe's turn. Carl the casual. At the start of this, Carl, I want you to make uh, just a, a general intelligence or whatever. I guess I have to go find uh, attributes. <laughs> what? Can we cheat? Can you roll just a. a if he's successful, can I tell him? Sheet? If he's successful, can I tell him? Because I'm pretty sure I figured this out a while ago. Mm-hmm. I didn't really do anything about it. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, Carl, if you can roll just a general intelligence uh, check. Um, a DC 10. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well. No, Carl's, Carl's too uh, worried, uh, preoccupied with... Uh, being injured and watching his friends be absolutely massacred by this this rat. That's about right. That's about right. Okay. Uh, Carl, what was that? It's your turn, Carl. That was just a... Yes. Yes. He's letting the piano man guide him. (laughs) (laughs) I'm... Okay, well, let's see if I can even see the rat first off. That'll help decide things. I can see the rat. Wait until the other elemental rats come out of those orbs. Yeah, that's what I'm waiting for. Uh-huh. Always. Why can't I click on my spells anymore? All right, so... Not- I don't, I don't understand know. why it's this been, happens. It was like goofy shit with me, too. When it's not my turn, I can click on them, and then when it becomes mm-hmm. my turn, they go away. <laughs> it's the pressure. It's so the Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm done. Clicking off your character and then reselecting it. Uh, help. Carl just unloads on this ride. Magic missile. All right. Ooh. Three. Da, da, da. Uh, rat is not looking good at this point. It uh, those magic missiles stung it pretty good. Still up. She's still, still up. up apparently. <laughs> yep. Uh, that was my whole turn. Okay. Carl's frustrated and sad. <laughs> and the second it became my turn. Oh, okay, bye. Oh, it's not wait, my no, turn anymore. Uh, I'm not used you to You skipped over me. It messes with me so much. It messes with me so much. Most of my players don't click that, so I'm just used to going and advancing it myself. 
you mentioned it last time, and then I was like, I'm gonna do it, and then I've been trying to do it this, I'm gonna, this time. I'm gonna keep my hands off of it now. You guys can <laughs> click it. I will do my best to remember. Um, okay. Uh, God dang. Okay, I was really hoping it wasn't gonna have to come down to me. Uh, it's looking real bad though, right? <laughs> yep, it's not looking good at all. Just... I'm try. I'm gonna go for the days. Cause yeah. actually, well, let me see. Let me see if I see it first. Cause no, no, let's go for the days. Let's go for the guaranteed. Cause it's guaranteed. Yep. Uh, whereas the te telekinetic projectile is not. So we're gonna we're gonna go for some from for some days cheese. And it's my cat is here to wish me luck. Uh, four points of damage. Okay. And it needs to see if it's stunned. Oh God, it was it's it was stunned. it was low for a second. It is gives, it still up? It gives uh, a little cough. You see a little puff of smoke come out. It limps down on one. It's still up. Oh my goodness. Okay. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, hold on. Now it's just going to okay. chew on the cut. It's going to chew on the cut. See, the problem is I've been trying so hard not to use the AoE heal because it's it heals all creatures, so it would have hit everyone, including the rat. So I was like, I can heal the rat. And you made the rat do this dance where it was running away from us. And I was like, awesome. And then you came back. I was like, no. The rat so. as uh, as to cut is slowly. Remember I said the, the water has been uh, flowing out away from this thing. As Takat's yes. body gets pulled back into the water, the rat goes up and tries to take a chunk out of it, and its, it's foot touches the water and it just runs back. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, good. Yep. <laughs> ah! Stay in the water! Um, just... You're still unconscious. <laughs> I think, you're right? Um, yeah, I'm gonna lay here in the water and be unconscious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> All right, gumshoe. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't do that much damage, <laughs> so you don't need to do much. <laughs> you, you don't. Okay, need to I do think much I can do this. I think I can use a healing potion, my healing potion, on to cut to make him conscious again. Or yeah, yeah. Is he he's stable? You used a hero point, right? He's stabilized. Mm -hmm. He's not making uh, mm -hmm. dying saves anymore. Or recovery saves. Uh, the lingo. I'm gonna shoot the rat first. Okay. <laughs> Go see if it yes, is. yes, yes, yes. Yeah, please do. Before I use that. So Bozzy's roll, actively yelling at you to kill it. Roll the flat <laughs> check first to see right. if you can see it. Thank you for reminding me, because mm -hmm. I just about didn't. <laughs> oh, oh, barely. Okay. Yes, you're good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I was thinking 10 for some reason. Uh, okay. Five. And yeah, then, I was like, why are you grinning? Don't do that. Oh, that's, a, that's a pass. <laughs> you're and okay. then. <laughs> Here comes the attack. That's that yes. actually. That's a good roll. So it's a great roll. Go ahead and uh, roll your damage. That's and then and tell me how you kill the cinder rat. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so, uh, I look down at Takut's unconscious body, and I say, "This is for you, old friend." And I and I leash that arrow, and it goes straight through the eye of the rat. Gives one final squeak and dies on the pedestal. I like how, you know, Bozzy, you mentioned something at the beginning that's like, oh, I feel kind of bad killing all these rats. And at the end of here, you're just like, kill it! <laughs> <laughs> just kill it. ready for this thing to be dead. It, it wasn't it that she was the one who felt bad about the rats. It was that there was a moment where there was like a reptilian skeleton. And for a second, everyone felt real bad because it's kind of similar to Gumshoe. <laughs> she was like, we just killed four creatures that looked like me. And no one showed any ounce of sympathy. But <laughs> that's fine. There's a maybe a reptile and everyone's mad. It's fine. No, no. <laughs> But it's very funny. <laughs> Either way. All Good right. job, Gumshoe! <laughs> like bones of a cobalt. Is this me? Yeah. <laughs> the bones of a cobalt. One yeah, not a bard, point bard. left! Oh. Dang. That's awesome. Okay. Um, uh, Bozzy is going to immediately run up to, to cut with her uh, medicine pack. Uh, she's desperately holding on to this last spell slot. <laughs> Excellent. Um, so you would need a medicine check for me. Yep, DC D 15. D. D oh, there you that's go. the first time I've rolled well on the medicine check first try. It's been hot garbage the whole time. 
Uh, and then is it 2d8? This is, I think you're oh, right. Oops. Yeah, 2d8. Okay. Let me not roll 2d10. Guy gesturing at butterfly meme. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eight hit points. Take it. Yes. Um, how is everyone looking? <laughs> Off. Yeah. yeah. We're not pretty. <laughs> not good. Uh, We're all messed uh, up a bit. Uh, yeah. Not so. So, um, um, yeah, go ahead. To cut, go ahead and say what you were going to say if Carl had succeeded his intelligence check. It it, uh, it couldn't go in the water. Oh, I yep. knew that. We, yeah. could have, we could have just ranged it to death. Yep. Yep. Uh, I, it was that's why out. I never left the water. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's shimmying around was when I was like, ah, got it. <laughs> Yep. Oh, it was the shimmy that did it. Because I was like, when yeah. we splash water on it, it didn't seem to care. Mm-hmm. So I was yeah. like, oh. But yeah. the shimmying. Yeah. That's why the it was really water. It, it wasn't uh, weak to water or anything like that, but uh, it did not want to go into it and could not go into it. Yeah. All right. Yeah, uh, when, uh, when splashing water on it didn't do anything, like... I, I discounted the the you know the fact that we were standing in water. Yeah. Um, and when it did the first dance, I wasn't looking at the screen, so I oh. heard you say it, but I didn't see it. And then when I went down, you said it again, but this time I was looking at it and I saw it, you know, move up and down there, and I was like, oh, oh, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. Like I knew that, but just. I couldn't pick up the cut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Once it was known, it was like, well, that's what we're doing anyway. <laughs> so, sorry, guys. I never I planned on getting out the water. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize to cut. Because yeah, he was just splashing water at it, Lady Masella. It wasn't. It wasn't about to enter into any like body of water, but it wasn't like the yeah. little water splashes from the acrobatics check wasn't going to do anything against it. I think he had, what, like a 12 and a 14 or something. Yeah, it was, it was great. Just a wee bit of water. Mm. Okay. Just a wee bit. So, yeah, you guys are in here with uh, these three, well, two more, um, like, elemental stone-looking things. Um, I'm going to end the combat, so, is- so to take you guys out of the worry stage. There you go. <laughs> So is the fire one completely shattered? That one is shattered, yep. So we have earth and air and left? Air. Correct. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's see. What? Clearly what the is... water one shattered. Yep. What is this pedestal thing here? Like, does it appear to have a function of some sort? Yeah. Um, you know what's funny? Is, I, it mentions this pedestal whatsoever. I mean, yeah. yeah, yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't mention the pedestal at all. <laughs> right. Just there. It's just there. Okay. Cool. I make an Arcana check to see if if uh, I think that we can actually do anything useful with the the two remaining spheres. Yeah, um, I'm going over to the Earth one and studying it. Yeah, so you guys can each uh, go look at one and make your checks. Carl, please don't line your face up with the orb so, you know, a Get giant right in there, fist Carl. doesn't come off yet. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. <laughs> <laughs> That's Sorry. great. Before oh, I do fantastic. this, uh-huh. I'm doing that thing that you hate. Mm-hmm. You already know it's <laughs> magic. Yes, but I get a plus one on my check. Okay. Yeah, it's like uh, so oh, no. 15? Um, and, 14. And what are you trying? Is that... Sorry, what? I'm just studying it, seeing what it's capable of, what it does, what it might... I know it's associated with the Earth plane, but like... Yeah. And you get your plus one to this roll, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so, yeah, you... Uh, let's see. Associated with Earth, you have the feeling that there's 
Um, it could imbue something or someone with some kind of uh, earthen power. Do I think I know how I could do that? Uh, probably by touching it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind. That is just like seems to run on some sort of magic. <laughs> do I feel? <clears throat> Okay, Carl. Yeah, it's, it's shattered already. Carl, touch um, I will go check the air one and see if I feel that same feeling about that one. Okay. In my studies. Put up a poll in chat. Should Carl touch it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> touch it. Touch it. Do it. Touch. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. <laughs> I love that the party is Wait. like egging Wait. on the the injured. A uh, wounded party member here. I drank the weird bull water. You touched the glowing orb. It seems fair. So do I feel that the air one is the same? Yeah. Like some sort of yeah, air? I think I can make it so these imbue someone with at least probably a single person with the energies of their associated plane. Interesting. Uh, okay, do you want to try it? Do we want to try it? <laughs> Look, I almost died, and it <laughs> sucked, so I'm going to sit this one out <laughs> like I took one for the team. God, you, you know might. you know how it is, Carl. <laughs> oh, oh, too soon. <laughs> all right, all right. I uh, she already touched something and uh, dealt with that. Yeah. Carl will walk over and touch the air one. Okay. Oh, yes, As the pole's up. The pole's up. Pole's up. The pole is up. up. Yes. <laughs> the pole is up. <laughs> All right. So, Carl, you touch the air one. Um, a huge gust uh, <laughs> of wind fills the room. Uh, you hear a voice uh, and just a whisper say, Call upon me, the wind, to gain my blessing and soar through the skies. Thank you. De nada. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Carl, uh, let's see. In the next 24 hours, you can spend an action to call upon the wind. And you can fly for your next action, moving up to 40 feet. Oh, shit. Wow. <laughs> Carl, you That's must awesome. land on solid oh, ground or fall if you end your movement <laughs> in the air. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like and a gust like of. Piggy... Hmm? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm being in it. A... Go ahead. <laughs> I feel like a gust of wind washes up, um, Carl, and he's like, oh, I feel the energies of the air. I feel I can take flight. But we need the injured Carl sailing through the air. <laughs> If someone wants to take their chance with the plane of Earth, I know it can probably be quite horrifying. I think Bozzy was already down there and was, like, watching the whole thing, and the second that, like, a little gust of wind hit him, she was just, like, touching it blindly. I realize I'm miming it, but you guys can't see me. (laughs) She's looking at the team (laughs) and and touching the orb. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Um, so everyone in, in the room, uh, you would immediately hear uh, a grinding and grumbling like boulders uh, slamming against each other, falling down a hill. Um, you hear another voice all upon the earth to gain its strength. Uh, and you, Bozzy, in the next 24 hours, uh, you can spend an action to call upon the earth. Uh, oh, <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, all why, why are you laughing? All your melee strikes deal an extra two damage uh, from a sudden oh! surge of strength. <laughs> that is why Carl didn't touch the earth one. <laughs> God dang it. Look, the cat died. The frog died. We made the frog sick before. I felt like if something went wrong, she could take one for the team. <laughs> and now she took one away from the team. I mean, Regret. You have a staff. Regret. Take a swing at something. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. You guys watch Bozzy turn in slow motion, just full of regret in her eyes. <laughs> did you did you get IBS? 
Because <laughs> when I drank that still standing water, it, very, it upset my tummy very bra very badly. Are, are you feeling okay? You don't seem... I, you know, strangely enough, IBS sounds a little better than disappointment right now, but uh, <laughs> with, with uh, these incredibly thick arms of mine, I can hit things just a little harder. Oh. Bossy looks ripped. Soul right rat. Bossy looks ripped. Yep. <laughs> There's an old grandma rat with fucking just yoked right now. Yeah, she shredded. I feel like that's actually going to come in clutch later. <laughs> yeah, I do also agree well, to that. It's for like yeah. an action, right? Or like, yeah, it's, one it's action. Not for, like, long, um, yeah. And all your melee right. strikes for the rest of the turn deal two extra damage. Oh my. It's so one turn of two extra damage. Melee? Oh, jeez. Okay, yeah. No, that's fine. It's good. This is. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like um, she like saw her get so swole and like hobbles over and like lays against the orb. <laughs> <laughs> Can I body teapot? Tea <laughs> yes, that is amazing. Yes. Uh, Could I maybe just? You look so swole. <laughs> Gumshoe's just slapping the orb, and it's it, it's <laughs> there's nothing left in it. Gumshoe. <laughs> I think in desperation, Bazi is like pushing Gumshoe into the orb. Like, get him! Get him! <laughs> Do I look thicker? Do I look stronger? His little frog hands just like <laughs> on the orb. So would would Bazi actually try to pass this along? Hundred percent. Like I like the visual is that the like, Gumshoe was attempting to touch it, and Bazi full shoved him into the orb. Like frog face smushed up against it. It's like take, 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 get it. Take, this is the wrong one. Okay. <laughs> I think I feel something. I feel stronger. <laughs> just his face is like squished against the orb. The chat all voted on rub it. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. You know what? Bazi roll just a, a d twenty. Okay. Ten or better. You can pass this along. Such a All kind right. of benevolent DM. Uh, otherwise, Here we're we staying go. with shredded grammar rat. Okay. I, like, I like grammar rat, personally. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're, you're able to pass this along because you're smashing Gumshoe's face into this orb. Um, everybody behind can actually watch her arms like ripple out and just go back Before down to <laughs> noodly arms. And you hear that, that same like rumbly sound echo through here. And suddenly, Bozzy, you are pushed back as uh, the frog goes swole. <laughs> don't, don't push me too hard. Do I take any damage from her smashing my face into it? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay. Two extra damage. <laughs> Two extra damage? <laughs> Two, yes! <laughs> That's excellent. Uh. Uh. Oh, the best is I have a minus two to any damage because I am so weak. So it just flattens it <laughs> just out as a out. regular roll. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. So Bozzy's going to pull away and just be like, did that nonsense actually work? How do you feel? Are you? Oh, you look bigger. Do I? You, you don't feel that now? You don't? What? Don't you? You, don't, you I look don't like feel a bullfrog now. Guns? <laughs> and I start flexing. <laughs> I'm shooting. <laughs> slight in Bozzy's face, but not as deeply as when she first touched. <laughs> it's Bozzy. Uh, oh, whoa, it almost broke on me. All right. Bozzy walks away and then turns and looks. New small friend. <laughs> oh. oh. Thank you. Uh, Built for all. I'll use these <laughs> new pipes. To eviscerate our enemies! Also, I don't feel very good. <laughs> <laughs> I feel stronger, but not I better. think this room's a little safer now if we want to try the rest for a moment. I think a little rest is good. I have to go clean up all of Carl's litter. <laughs> don't make me do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Just drop in detect magics everywhere. Mm -hmm. Just leave it a laws against that. I just climb up into the bowl and curl up. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> just it's perfect. It is so perfect. Somebody, yeah. Someone said take a nap. <laughs> just, oh my god. Should we do the napping house where we just layer on top of each other and everyone naps in the same spot? Puddle puddle. <laughs> really good, actually. Puddle puddle. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Alright, so I have to look up uh rest. Curl up we on have her. to take a full rest. Yeah, I think rest. you would have yeah, to take I a don't full think that's rest. um mm-hmm. a full, full eight hour rest. rest. Yeah. I'm gonna have okay. Asta keep watch. Mm-hmm. Sleep in Fly the down the tunnel a little bit and keep watch. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, just out of paranoia and in case something does ambush us, um, she is going to use her last spell slot to just heal everyone up a little bit more, just in case if something pops out and <laughs> we're at like three hit points combined. <laughs> probably not great. Um, oh, so she's going to do her AoE heal. Uh, place 30 foot emanation. Oh, look at this fancy stuff. Wow. Hey, look at that. Yes, yeah, the light show that's going to blind everyone. I'm just talking to everyone. Okay, so six healing to everybody. And does that ever go away? Okay. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah, a lot of the effects yeah. are really nice. And then there's that. Yeah, right. Disco food. Use me. <laughs> Disco food. <laughs> Exactly. Um, but yes, and then uh, we can curl up. Okay. So make sure you guys uh, all hit that heal button. We did. We're good students. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. So um, who's keeping first watch? Bozzy will. Okay. I was just going to have the cat keep by uh, and then we could all sleep. Yeah. <laughs> She's. I, I think she. I think it's a good idea that someone does watch it at the same time. So she'll, okay. she'll go first. All right. So uh, the first watch, Bozzy. Um, there, there is no perception. There is perception. I don't know. I still have not figured out the whole uh, perception. There is still perception. I, I'm used- it's just not a skill. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, it's under attributes under underneath. Like thing. okay. Yeah, under perception. <laughs> All right, that's, that's like what it is. a perception so check for me. <laughs> yes, yes, please. Okay. Uh, think. Okay. So, um, your watch goes fine, Bozzy. Um, okay. You can hear some like guttural grunts and some growling noises from way further down, but nothing seems like it's gotten any closer. That's good. Mm, same for uh, in. Asked to failed, uh, but it's nothing is trying to be really quiet or anything. Uh, so the same thing. Asta would hear the, the the grunts and growls from from further on. At the end of your watch, Bozzy, um, who do you wake up? She'll wake up to cut. Actually, just gently <laughs> uh, poke at him with her staff. Oh, why? Okay. <laughs> I have to wake up. I'm. You and the other cat just look out. Good night. <laughs> she just nice. uh, turns into a rat loaf on the ground and goes to sleep. Rat loaf. I like it. <laughs> All right. To cut. Perception, please. I'm gonna ask me for a, a will save to see if I've been back to sleep. Oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, that would be great. <laughs> Ten, yeah, uh, and that was on perception. Um, it's the same thing. You just hear all the the grunting, growling. Uh, there's kind of the steady uh, water flow, and that's really it. And I'm only gonna ask for two from you guys. So normally, uh, normally you get a con modifier times your level back in HP. That seems rough. That's that's how it works. No yep. full HP. No no auto mm-hmm. auto healing all the way to full. I'm Con modifier plus our level. Did you say that's what it would be? Uh, times your level. But times, oh, oh wow, yeah. that's too sick. That's, <laughs> yep. Yeah, sick. Yep. I mean, and in, in, in first edition it was just your level. But you get your. Uh, <laughs> You get your spell slots back. Yep. Sure. Let's just rest here for three days, guys. <laughs> yeah, let's just hang out here for days. <laughs> that lady will think we're dead for sure. <laughs> You're no longer wounded, Carl. 
You can spend an yep. entire day and night resting during downtime to recover hit points equal to your con modifier multiplied by twice your level. That's one whole day and night. Oh. It's like I'm, real healing. Yeah. Natural First, healing. <laughs> not superhuman <Yeah>. healing. <laughs> Listen, I'm a rat person with a staff who can talk. I'm not here for realism. <laughs> Fair. Okay, guys. Um, so. Is that my HP? Yeah. Hey, right, well, who's ready to push forward? For just oh, a second, I thought it. that was the rat again. That mage hand that moved, and I was like, what <laughs> in the Jesus? Guess what? It's back. <laughs> oh, no. Goodbye. You guys it just needed a nap, too. On it, and it's back. So we didn't level up? <laughs> no, you did not. Nice try, though. Uh, <laughs> guys, I know you're going to be real happy to hear this. We are not finishing this in two sessions. <laughs> what do you mean? What? What do you We're mean? Very yeah, what do you mean? Everything we do. Two more, baby. But uh, yeah, the next one definitely Every will session. not be. <laughs> two more. Every session, two more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, you can adventure on a little bit just to see the next area, but we are not going to get into another combat or anything. Or we sure. can stop here. It's up to you guys. We can see the next room. Okay. All right. So you guys are right back here with that awful stench. Oh, it's the, the growling gets worse. No, watch out for my trap up there, please. I was waiting. There's a, there's a <laughs> trap up there, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. okay, with the warning, you're fine. You can pull the trap out of the way. All right. The trap is not activated. So, or not. Yeah, trip. Yeah, sprung. Right. It's not sprung. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Get rid of all the effects on fucking Carl. <laughs> Keep going, Carl. 35 <laughs> Keep going, Carl. <laughs> oh, whoa, that was a cool sound. Yeah, hey, I can hear it. Whoa. Uh, uh, I feel like uh, moving quietly would be a good idea. Good call, good call, good call, good call. Okay. Gosh, darn it, guys. <laughs> Carl, are you trying to get up there? Mm-hmm. Yes, I was oh. just taking care of all those effects. <laughs> I'll, I'll move you up there, Carl. <laughs> Oh, can you put Carl where I am? Because Bozzy would be behind him, but I I heard the sounds and Foos got real excited and moved up, so that was... <laughs> Thank you. Oops. <laughs> Just tossed Bozzy okay. into a wall. There we go. That's good, that's good. Thank you. Okay. So, right here. Um, I'm going to find what I'm looking for first. Let me get... <laughs> Just saw Joe's comment! <laughs> Not sprung. Have you tried putting a round thing in its face? <laughs> Perfect, <laughs> That's Joe. great, actually. Oh, my gosh. That's fantastic. All Classic. Right. <clears throat> when you guys get in here on this main platform, you're hit with an overpowering stench. Uh, like, fantastic. it's the, the stronger version of what you found before with those barrels, that, that, uh, that little blockade. Like rotten <gasps> fish and oily sweat. Uh, the air here is warm and... Just humid, just just nasty, soupy atmosphere in this cave. Um, right. And unlike the previous chambers, this one actually appears to be a natural cavern. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. It's dotted with limestone, stalactites, and stalagmites. Makes it hard to see where the room actually ends. Huh. Um, quiet, quiet, quietly, quietly. Did I walk too far? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> the answer to that is almost always yes <laughs> I paused it so you didn't walk too far Okay uh, Right here, I'm going to unpause it but don't move I'm not going to move I'm not moving <laughs> I'm still, I'm completely still Frozen Alright, I need all of you guys to make a fortitude save for me Oh This is my first save Uh t- 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 Fortitude. Oh, finally, something a little higher. I'm gonna be so mad. No, oh, what there's happened? Some... Hold on. No. <laughs> That's not yeah. what I thought I rolled. <clears throat> there was such a delay that I was like, I did well. Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> no, Carl I didn't. fails to cut. Passes. Gumshoe fails. Bozzy fails. All right. Mm-hmm. The three that failed all immediately get sick with the overpowering stench in this room. Um, yeah. 
you all take a minus one status penalty to all of your d20 rolls and dcs including their armor class until they spend an action to wretch <laughs> Oh, awesome. I'd perfect. I uh, uh, I stuffed gauze up my nose. This is true. You've had gauze up your nose for a while. I have. I just got tired of holding my nose and talking in a nasal yeah, voice. Yeah, that's fair. If this doesn't help. It's totally fine. I just wanted to say that that's what happened. It, it helps. Uh, I was going to give you a, a plus two to the roll. Which oh, okay. Yeah. No, I, yeah, I rolled garbage. Yeah. No, you're good. <laughs> All right. So in the middle of the room, uh, in the next level down from you, you guys would see. You guys would see these things. Oh. That's what the heck gross. Is that like a, a fin I, mohawk. Yeah, uh, love it. That mouth. Oh, humanoids. Yeah. Um, they it's actually, are, it must be yeah. evil. <laughs> Let's see. They are all sitting there. Um, the weapons are at their sides at the moment. Hmm. Um, yeah. So it's just a. Just a little group of them just sitting there. It looks like they're, they're picking apart some fish and um, kind of. Well, yeah, it looks like they're just picking apart fish, trying to uh, decide the best parts to eat. And you guys come up on them uh, to cut, save your guys' bacons with a stealth roll of 20. So. Ooh, to cut. <laughs> you have yes. the uh, element of surprise on these things. And we'll see what happens with that. Uh, not next week. The week after when we come back. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to remember what? how to play this in two weeks. Yeah, I'm not going to remember oh, that I have to throw up. Can, can I just, like, walk uh, back yeah. very quietly and throw up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's an effect, right? What's it called? <laughs> it's uh, sickened. Can... Actually, I have it marked on me. It. It's all good. Okay, I I'll didn't remember. put it on me at all, and I forgot to. There we go. I just, did uh, it. I'm a it. professional. Right. It's know, like, so this second is probably a worse thing. No, no. So he includes this value, yeah. No, 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 no. I don't know. I just I'm putting that on so I remember. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Not that necessarily works. that it's accurate. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right, I turn that down a little bit so it's not quite as loud. All the all the sounds are just default loud. All right. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's where we're gonna end it. Um, you guys, uh, that was fun as hell. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad we got back to it. Uh, this is so much fun. <laughs> yeah. I enjoy it. So thank you guys for another Monday night of your time. Appreciate it. Um, chat, Oops. thanks for hanging out. Uh, let me go through real fast. Uh, Carpe the DM, thank you for the raid and the follow. Appreciate that. Um, thank you guys for all the hero points. Um, yeah. Yes, Saved our bacon. You. Indeed. Uh, Inducer handing out a ton of hero points tonight, along with, yes. I think it was Lady Mustella. Nuxter? Yeah. Sorry, Nuxter. I missed some of them. Chat was Nuxter gave me one. Is it Nuxter? I've been saying Nuxter. Oh, God, I just read everything wrong. No, that's, that's all right. That was this is Nuxter. Uh, she likes to give um, Rev a hard time for his uh, Flavic accent, I think. Not a hard time. She <laughs> loves it. She, oh, she does actually love it. It's not It's not a... <laughs> she not gives a you a hard time for targeting the Slavic person. <laughs> uh, I see, I see. Yeah, and everybody's links are right there for their own Twitch channels. Uh, make sure you go and follow them if you're not already. We very much appreciate it. Uh, hey, Nuxter, I was thanking you for the, the hero point that you handed out, and, and I had it backwards. I thought you were giving Rev crap for his Slavic accent. He said um, that you actually like his accent. So, yeah, I messed that up. But I am going to find someone. Slavic in, Slavic in the chat. Oh, we just got oh, rid of no. 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 Hello, Beanie Coffee. Welcome. Beanie, welcome in. We were just about to wrap it up. Uh, I guess we have to do another combat. We have to. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't think we have time. I would, but I don't think we have time. Uh, it's up to you guys. <laughs> it's only 7 o'clock here. I don't think so because of some of the, the prior commitments. So um, if we don't, we don't. That's completely fine, but um, Beanie, thanks for thanks for the raid in. Uh, C Reed, welcome in. Papa Joe, how goes it? Thank you guys. Uh, we were fighting. I'll show you real quick what we were fighting. Uh, they fought a Cinder Rat. Uh, it it really kicked their asses. It dropped two of them. Uh, a little elemental fire rat. Um, mm -hmm. Booze, if you have to run, I understand, and you can take off. Oh no, you're good. This okay. is the like unusually like this particular day is unusual, so you're you're good. 
Okay. But thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Um, they fought the little uh, little Cinderette, elemental Cinderette guy. Uh, the clothes on that is way too long. There we go. We just came up on these guys. Here's some uh, some reptilian fishy friends. The party is going through and trying to figure out what's stealing all the fish from beneath the fishery. So, yeah, uh, we had a lot of fun. We uh, zipped around under these caves down here, uh, or in these caves, uh, trying to figure out what's stealing all the fish. Um, they had a hard time. <laughs> there was a that rat really kicked their asses. Little flaming cinder rat mm-hmm. did a number on them. Also, you were rolling baller though, because you. Yeah. you... I don't you were shooting rolling. for the stars. Yeah, you were <laughs> like rolling like above going. 15 <laughs> most of the night. I had Multiple a, 20s on us over the night. A few yeah. cuts in there. It was not. Yeah. Yeah, it, that was a good night. Um, well, for me, as a DM. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it was a good night here, too. Was, I mean, <laughs> look, sorry. Picking my teammates off the ground is my favorite thing to do. So, no, I'm kidding. That's what you fun. signed up for, right? We, we appreciate yeah. it. We appreciate it. I like being alive and I like playing this game. <laughs> yes. Thank you for saving my life, team. This game keep, is amazing. Uh, continue playing the Himbo Frog here. Yeah. Um, oh my God. Himbo Frog all day. <laughs> so yeah. For all the raiders that uh, missed out, if we, uh, we'll, we'll run through before we leave. Also, buy me time to find someone to raid into. Uh, if you guys want to uh, reintroduce yourselves and say where you can uh, find you at online, uh, we'll start at the other end and we'll go with Twisted. Oh, hello. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm Twisted, and uh, in this game I'm playing to cut uh, Sigus, the uh, cat folk interior decorator um, also happens to be a rogue. And uh, you can find me on my, my Twitch channel, so very twisted. Um, I do actually do more things than just play MechWarrior online, but lately it has been a lot of that. Um, <laughs> it's completely okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, um, this game has been has been awesome. Uh, getting your butt kicked is is always a you know a, a gut check. Uh, but you know, sometimes you need it. And that rat ate my shield. It did. It yeah. absolutely Literally. wrecked your shield. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, next up, we have Nikki. Hello. My name's Nikki Nerds Out. I play Gumshoe, a gripply fighter who <laughs> doesn't really know how to fight, <laughs> but he's learning. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, so. Uh, been loving this campaign so far. So glad you guys could join, even though it's at the end. Hopefully, you guys tune in not next Monday, but the Monday after. And if you want to check out my stuff, I'm going to be streaming. Uh, I guess tomorrow, just doing a just chatting stream to catch up because I took some time off. Got married. <laughs> and then, <laughs> yay! yay. <Congrats>. Thank you. <laughs> it's only been 16 years. It's high. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, and then uh, I typically play uh, some video games. So just finished Resident Evil 4, been playing Inscription. And then also I do a Dungeons and Dragons campaign building stream on Saturday morning. So come hang out with me there. We'll do some campaign building. I think next morning I'm doing a co-stream with uh, CJ some days. And we'll be talking about Mid Journey and all that jazz uh, and things like that. Uh, Yeah, and also we do one shots on Friday nights in my Discord. So if you are looking for a game to play, but not a whole lot of... Uh, commitment, stop by and drop in for a one shot. Um, you can find my Discord link at my channel. That's it. Awesome. And then we've got Fuska. Hey, I'm Foos. Um, you can find me here on uh, Twitter uh, or Twitter, twi- uh, Twitch, Twitch and Twitters. <laughs> um, actually, Twitter's now X or some nonsense, right? I don't know. No, yeah. um, <laughs> Let's not talk about that. <laughs> yeah, that's nonsense. That's happening. Uh, but uh, when I'm here, I play uh, Bazi Teapot and she's a rat folk oracle um, who's cranky grandma vibes and is trying her best not to let anyone die. Um, but <laughs> great you can... I'm doing all right. I'm the one. There's some times where I'm like, oh, I should have done that in a different order. I, whatever. It's fine. I'm learning. They're all still um, alive. But they are. They are. Yet. But like, it's it's my brain just being like, that could have been more efficient. 
but uh, on my channel on Wednesdays and Fridays and Saturdays we stream um, D and D campaigns, um, all of which are different currently. Uh, and actually, in the month of August on Monday nights. Uh, oh no, Sunday night, excuse me. Today's Monday. I know what days are. Uh, on Sunday nights, we're going oh, to be nice. debuting oh, no. a... Oh, hello! Hi, oh, no. no. It's us! <laughs> no. <laughs> Welcome hello. in, Raiders! The DM just, uh, is panicking! Uh, if you can we see just, us for <laughs> just a second. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, all right, August! Uh, on Sundays, <laughs> we're going to be having a... Um, a Power Rangers uh, four episode uh, TTRPG thing, and we're very excited for it. It's our first time playing on this, um, and our GM is very graciously teaching us as we go. So it'll be fun. Awesome. Um, and also another shout out to this channel. Thank you so much for getting this like ready for us, and also like the the intro video still gets me hype every time I see it. Um, and I know we're going through this very, very slowly and we expected this to be shorter, but I'm having a great time. No, so thank yeah, you so much. That's all right. And uh, Lady Mastella here is responsible for the overlay and the intro video, Beautiful. BRB screen, everything. Um, she did a awesome. fantastic job on it. She also does uh, everything over on the, um, uh, the Wild Beyond the Witchlight stream, uh, which I'll talk about in just a second after we let... Uh, Mr. Eldridge here introduced us to himself and his character. Are you sure we're not doing another fight? No, just... yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'm Rev. Um, I'm playing Carl the Casual in this game, our lovely half elf sorcerer who just tries to be alive, um, <laughs> doing his best, not working so well. But yeah, um, you can find me on Twitch at Rev Eldridge where I stream Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Fridays. Generally speaking, I've been doing a lot of survival games, some colony builders. Uh, I also do map making streams for my own home games and occasionally talk about those and when people come in with questions and thoughts and whatnot. And you can also catch me on the Dirty Rollers channels, channel um, on Thursday nights and every other Saturday where we're playing Slasta. And I guess maybe Boulder's Gate. Boulder's Ooh. Gate soon. <laughs> so excited for it. Um, yeah. Drop by and say hi anytime. Yeah. And uh, I'm Andrew. I run the Dirty Rollers here. Um, very thankful for these four for coming in and hanging out with me on Monday nights. Um, we will not be here next Monday, but we will be back on the 7th. Uh, August 7th, we'll be back. Um, as we see how far we can get in this second area and do our best to, to finish up uh, this the Pathfinder Beginner Box because uh, Fruit Newt, um, welcome in, uh, sorry. Uh, appreciate you stopping in at the end here. Um, yeah, we're trying to learn Pathfinder 2nd Edition uh, through this awesome uh, Beginner Box. Uh, everything that you see, all the maps, all the music, all the enemies, everything all came set up. Uh, it's worth every cent. I highly suggest uh, giving Paizo some of your hard-earned money and running your group through this if you haven't already. It is uh, a super fun uh, little adventure that introduces all the the, the basic uh, rules and mechanics and everything of Pathfinder. And we've been kind of diving into some of the, the next little tier of things here. But uh, level one, it's a pretty good challenge. And I would think that maybe even five people going through this, it wouldn't be a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it would be safe to add a fifth player through this. Mm. Um, but yeah, um, Fruit, thank you for stopping in. Beanie, thank you for the raid. Um, Fruit, I'm definitely going to, uh, before I before I even have a chance to forget, I'm gonna make sure I stop back by. Um, there we go. I do not want to forget that. And um, mm. we're going to raid out to our friend, as long as he hasn't ended. Yeah, we're going to go make uh, Xanthos' night uh Yay! Hey. He's he's awesome. He is playing Skyrim. Um, nice. I get his characters mixed up because he bounces between the different Elder Scrolls games. I think this is Ficus. I could be wrong. Uh, Ficus, the character's name is Ficus. Ficus Thistletree. <laughs> yes. So Let's go. Very good give name. Ficus, there he is. Yes. Ficus some love. Give Xantho some love. Drop him a bomb. Also yes. Ficus, actually. Um, Ficus probably deserves it. Yeah. Ficus, Ficus does, deserve does deserve it. it. Um, he's an awesome individual. He's he's fairly recently new to uh, D&D. He plays in some stream games. Um, so he'll talk D&D with you all night. Just uh, make sure you drop him some love. <laughs> 
And uh, guys, uh, we'll be back here Wednesday night, uh, 6.30 p.m. Eastern for our Wild Beyond the Witchlight stream, uh, which Beanie Coffee is a part of. Um, so make sure you come come back, say hi to us, uh, see what the, the Owl Brothers, the Ferretten Bard, the Half-Orc, uh, the Kalashtar Sorcerer, and I, I'm forgetting somebody and it hurts. Who am I forgetting? I'm forgetting someone. There's seven of them. Uh, <laughs> it's a big party. It's a great game, though. You guys are playing. It's amazing to watch. It's really yeah. fun. Who am I forgetting? Yeah. Beanie, Mustella, save me. I'm forgetting someone. <laughs> Did you say moist milk? Moist, moist milk, milk the worst <laughs> one. Oh no, moist milk the goblin. How could I forget? That's my girl. Uh, That's amazing. my girl. I relate I to her on so it. many levels. Anyways, guys, thanks for hanging out. We very much appreciate it. Appreciate your raids. Everybody have a good night and we'll see you back here uh, Wednesday night for Witch Light. Adios, everybody. Bye. Bye. I shoot for three rooms next time. No. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, no.